You got it, bro. You got it. Why you think that? You got it, bro. Why you think that? Start the podcast. You got Whoa. it, bro. Oh, you nah, so you, you got, got it, start it, bro. The podcast. You got it. Start the podcast. Nah, you got started? it, bro. For real? I think you got it. Start the podcast. I'm not joking. Wait, don't start put the podcast. Back. Nah, for real. Start the podcast. You got it, dog. We started. Have we started already? Yeah, we started. You got it, bro. Yeah, why is that? I'm not joking. Why is that? Look at his face, Al. I mean, listen, it's a good educated guess, and hey, I get hey, it first. Hey, hey, hey. I'm looking at you. Yeah. And I can see the guilt in your eyes. Yeah. Because you feel bad that you're going to give it to us, but you got it. You think I know I have symptoms I, and I haven't said nothing? You've always had symptoms. Your That's whole life is thing. symptoms. That's so you don't, thing. so you're like, oh, it's probably just my life. Yeah. You right. got it. Okay. <laughs> you got it, bro. Okay. Don't scratch your fucking nose and okay. touch your face. Let's take, dude, look at Let's hey, get hey, a corona hey. test look, from somebody. Look at, look at everybody watch on YouTube. Look at him right now. Get, get him on a single. Yeah. Look at him right now. Look at, you can barely keep your eyes open, bro. Son. Your eyes are glossy. Your nose and, and your face. I'm gonna be Indian. honest. I just put up an Instagram video, and I don't know if I have ever looked cuter. I mean, I was yeah, looking uh, at myself I, like, I, you look cute. Yo. The lighting was good, but in all seriousness, you got it, bro. I'll take a corona test right now. It looked like, look like he's having some trouble breathing Hold right now. Hold your breath son. for ten seconds. Yep. Go on. Go. <laughs> One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Three. Four Mississippi. Five Mississippi. Six Mississippi. Seven Mississippi. So how many times eight you Mississippi. Just there? Nine Mississippi. Ten Mississippi. Exhale. I don't know. Nah. I, I think he breathed through his eyes bro, just now. So. I think, I think <laughs> that's why he blinked so many times. Yeah, like he was like uranium bitches. That's how they. Got. <laughs> we were talking about this on the Corona report that we'd be doing. We need a name for that shit, bro. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but um, like how we can't believe that all oh, Iran got got the son. I mean, the easiest thing to do is get a COVID mask for your wife, right? But they, they have a mask already. I don't understand how anybody out there ever got it, you know? Do you think that Islam changes what, what type of face structure it is? It becomes a COVID mask? What do you mean? Because right now it's like a Why little piece of... Why are you calling it COVID? Of... Stop doing this fucking yeah. cuck shit. It's China flu, okay? Sure. Or yellow fever. I'm just going... <laughs> Wow. They already had one. <laughs> Yo, somebody called it. Somebody tweeted me, Kamikaze sneeze. Kamikaze sneeze. Good. That's good. That's good. But uh, but seriously, what's this COVID shit? It's coronavirus. I'll be using them interchangeably. It's okay. just two syllables versus three. I just hate that. Like, own it. If you did it, you got it, bro. Like, <laughs> you talking about the beer company? What? The beer company. No, I'm talking about the virus. Like, China, you did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't understand why we can't just say, like, you got it. You sell fucked up shit in your so market. China, the China bug. The China bug. Right. Go. Chinese dragon. The Chinese dragon, dude. <laughs> He's okay. breathing that hot fire. <laughs> okay, but go on. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. What was I saying? I don't know. The point is, uh, we're here, everybody. What's up? Welcome to another episode of Flagrant 2. Yep, yep. Um, Akash has been on flights. You're touching... Eden's mask. Eden has been DJing like a fucking retard. And threw it at me. Get it, get it off of you. Y'all, y'all, are you guys from Florida? What? You reacting a lot. Look, Son, we're gonna get it, yo. No, we're not. I think that I think we could possibly not get it. Yeah. Here's the thing. I'm not getting it. Yeah, I really don't think I'm gonna get it. You, I'm not so certain. Yeah, me neither. Mm. <laughs> what you gonna do? And I got asthma. I mean, it's gonna be no, no, rough you, for your boy. For you. It's bad. It's for gonna you. be rough for your boy. You might need a respirator. But what can um, you do? Okay, so let's let's just have a little check in with everybody because right yep. now people have been hearing from Alex and myself, but they haven't heard from from you. Yeah, um, you decided to do shows uh, up in Montreal Had against to. my. You didn't have to. Comedy is not a real job. You never have to do it. I texted my agent on Wednesday, who's also my agent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you why do that thing that my brother does. But that's why I don't want to look like an asshole because my it's... brother goes. I was talking to my mom. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not, but I'm talking to everybody. Okay. I'm texting <laughs> our agent on Wednesday, yeah. and I'm like, yo, do I got to do this fucking show? It's a college. The college had shut down the night before. It should have gone. It's a three-hour drive, and he's like, I think you should do it. So what I'm going to say, I don't got specials for seven figures. So I was like, all right, I'll do that. That makes two of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, life is a leverage game. My leverage yeah. is you don't make much money off me. So if you, you think I should do the do shows, it. I'll do the shows. All right, fine. Uh, I think it's a good point in time to tell uh, everybody real quick that uh, all of my shows for March and April are going to be rescheduled, possibly May as well. Uh, we just have to look at how we're doing. And included in those shows is, unfortunately, the special. I'm very bummed. Um, 
April 11th and 12th. I was incredibly excited to go do it. But uh, you, you, we all have the responsibility, a social responsibility in this fucking thing. And you can't be out there, you know, in basically trying to get groups of pe- people to gather right. and eventually share the coronavirus with each other. So we are uh, rescheduling those things. Once we have the rescheduled dates, I'll post them all. I have uh, our agent working on that right now. Um <laughs> Akash has already received a bunch of rescheduled dates, so I'm going to have a separate conversation with my agent about the order of priority <laughs> in this relationship over here, okay? Uh, oh, man. <laughs> no, uh, but in all seriousness... Um, I think my venues just have a lot more availability to begin with. <laughs> it better be the reason. Hey, DJ, that better be the reason, okay? <laughs> I've got my, I've got my, my uh, whatever this is, my Italian mobster fingers going. It better be the reason. <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh man. Anyway, so yeah, so so besides that, everything's okay. Wifey's everything's okay. Good. Wifey's good. We're quarantined up. So she's not going to work. She's working from home. She's Only place home. we're coming is here. She doing Most Pilates classes still? Nah, rap, mm. rapski. Mm. Okay, good. Very good. How has it been all that time? At home together. He hasn't been home or he's been in uh, Montreal. Yeah, I got back just yesterday. Got back. It's been a great oh, hasn't started yet. Oh, hasn't started yet. Oh, oh, it's oh, 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 it's this, this week, Akash, you're oh. going to love it. You know what else is getting postponed? <laughs> the wedding. <laughs> okay, that's what Corona going to expose. How's the uh, quarantine going for you? Son, I've been in the studio. <laughs> yep. 10 hours a day son I ain't playing no games I got a motorcycle oh god you know what I mean I got a legit Alex and I got a motorcycle so we could get here even how's this relationship time. going in the quarantine oh me and Al yeah actually we've never been better son yeah, it's I good. think we just gotta get Mark out of here I think that's really <laughs> <laughs> that's really the key to all of our yeah, success as yeah. a couple is just getting Mark out Mark of here Mark divides your attention now you gotta please two people exactly you're not built for polygamy yo I'm not built for polygamy I just wanna be a one man man yeah yo. I'm a one man man it's amazing Al and I don't have more conflicts. Yeah, why don't y'all? Oh no, man, I love Al. It's a man. weird love triangle we got that works. I no, you know why? Because you got your girl that you be spending all your time with. That's you don't true. got no time for me no more. That's true. I hope you both get coronavirus and you're fucking <laughs> wheezing in bed next to each other. That's what I hope. So he got it, son. Son, I, no, no, look at his posture, the way he's touching his thigh. No, I'm just gay. That's it. There you go. Uh-huh. Oh my God! I was walking around the West Village wondering why so many Coronas was walking around, <laughs> son. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Done. <laughs> Dude, the rainbow flag, the corona flag. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, so shit has been okay with me and my lady. We've been good, actually, to be honest. Um, no fights whatsoever. I'm saving a lot of money uh, in this whole corona situation and losing a lot of money. Don't get me wrong. I'm still losing. Where are you saving? Um, we don't have date night anymore. It's perfect. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. It is good. It is good. I mean, we've created our own date night. We were talking about this on uh, the quarantine pod, but... Uh, I think that's really important. I think everybody should do that. Absolutely. Like create fun things that you can do with your girl, your friends, your roommates, whatever it is. Don't just like fall into the trap of this. What's the trap? Netflix? The trap is do nothing. You could do Netflix, but have the, there be a goal. The trap is I'm not going to change what I wear. The trap is I'm not going to get dressed up. I'm not going to shower. Mm. I'm not going to share. I'm not mm. going to do any of these things. And that is, I guarantee it's going to happen to people. And that's when you start getting depressed. And that's when you start breaking down. And that's when shit starts to go bad. In my opinion. That's that's like in my life outside of Corona, I've thought about times where like that happens, like when I was off the road. Sorry, real quick, where's my yeah. water glass? Because I got something in my throat, and I know if I cough, you guys are gonna lose your minds. Oh. Son, no, no, <laughs> come on, Edin. Son, yeah, I think both of them got it. Say again, who? Ed, Edin and Akash. Oh, definitely. They they just too cavalier <laughs> about this shit right now. Definitely, son. definitely, definitely have it. Hundred oh, percent. His cough was crazy. Y'all yeah. heard that? Anyway. Son, he just coroned this whole studio. I know, son. dude. I know. We should have kept them the fuck away. Fox, Everything was fine. We were doing Fox, fine before so both we of them were good. Came in. I know. All the um, Yo, you got a flagrant take? Uh, flagrant take, flagrant take, flagrant take, flagrant take. Oh, I did have something. What the fuck was it? I got a little something. Okay, go. You start. So, and it sucks. I was trying to think of something un-corona related, but yep. this is the first thing that comes to mind. So, yep. I think the coronavirus is going to significantly lower the divorce rate. Go on. Now we're forced to be inside. Now you have a bunch of millennials learning how to cook, Eh. cleaning, doing laundry, binging um, makeup tutorials so they're not ugly anymore. Interesting. Divorce, Divorce rate is going down. Also, you can't get divorced if you're dead. Also, you can't afford it. 
what? If you're a man and, and we're about to get into a crazy recession, I don't got the money to pay her. Oh, yeah. Nobody gets divorced nothing. when they're broke. Yeah. That's why broke people stay together. Ah. Yeah. Gotcha. It's like, what are we doing here? We're already miserable. Paying lawyers? Yeah. No. Uh, I think it could happen. I like the idea that we're like getting back into our instincts. I never understood like women's rejection of like uh, cooking or like uh, nurturing or these types of things. Like literally over the last, I don't know, 10 million years or 20 million years, uh, we've carved out roles for each other. And men, we love being taken care of. Word. It's the best. It Oof, is preach, the best thing. Preach. Now, Akash, if you can, try to point your seat out towards there like I asked you before the fucking podcast started. But My man is on edge with the Rona. Son, son, you're not playing games out his here, His corona's bro. blocking his ears, son. Everything's <laughs> happening. It takes a lot to block my ears, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real. I got them elves. I got them elven son, ears, dog. Son, <laughs> Andrew done yelled at everybody in this podcast, and he's already planning to yell at his agent. Our agent. <laughs> oh, son. <laughs> Sometimes you got to kick shit into gear, bro. We're not playing games out here. It's Corona season. Uh, but what was I just saying, though? The horse is carving out things for each other. Taking care of your man. Oh, gender. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, like, taking care. Like, so my girl, she makes breakfast. She'll just, like, tidy up and shit like that. And you know what I do? I take out the trash. Yeah. And I like doing that. Yeah. I enjoy doing that. <laughs> yeah. It's a basic you just started doing that? Like, yeah. It's, who the fuck well, was I was doing that before? I take out my own trash, but now that it's both of our trash together. You just started? You still I'll be honest, in her it. apartment when we were staying there, she would take out the trash. Wow. <laughs> and, 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 and honestly, that worked good for me. That worked fine. But at the same time, Come I don't on, want your yo. girl taking out the trash. You bro. should never want your girl I taking know. out the trash. Come on, that's son. That's foul because some dude could be like, hey, can I help you with that? And it's like, all yep. right, that's how it starts. As he should help. Right. You wild it, son. But yo. I stopped that. I cut that shit out. My girl's taking care of the household. She's she's making sure that we're cooked for, making sure that we're fed, making sure that we're clean. Mm. You know what I mean? So mm. she's doing the womanly things that have existed for millions of years. I guess what I'm trying to say is this patriarchy shit is a product of evolution. It's not a product of men. I truly believe this. It's not a product of men trying to hold down women. It's a product of what works in a relationship over millions of years. And then we just made it easy for women. We're mm -hmm. like, hey, it's easier for you if you kind of cook and clean. You can also work, that's great. But don't give up the cooking and cleaning because your, your husband will literally love you less. Son. Anything literally that's love been you in less. place for millions of years is because we've evolved to it. That's or it. Or hundreds of thousands or whatever. Slavery's been around for millions of years. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. No, but a way you can... But racism not for, is an institution. <laughs> but I'm not talking about rich people. To make the actual point, I'm talking about, like, people who were trying to survive, they weren't like... Hey, here, let's do, let, let me oppress my girl real quick. They're like, yo, we need to eat. We need to live. This is how we're going to do it. Mm. You make the food. You gather everything. You take care. I'll go kill. I'm a hunter. Let's go. Yeah. And that's how gender roles evolved. For rich people, whatever. I but think what happens survive, also, real quick, I think what happens also is um, there is a reward system built into the things we're supposed to do. Okay? Right. You mow the lawn. I know this sounds silly. You mow the lawn. Afterwards, you feel good about it, right? Because you've just done something that has been accomplished. Now, I'm sure there's maybe some evolutionary advantage, like clearing out your space. Who the fuck knows, right? But there's a reward system built in. I truly believe there is a reward system built in when women uh, cook food for men and give them food. And I think there's rewards. I was talking to Rogan about this. He was like, something happens when you hunt and you like kill an animal and bring it back home. There is a fucking reward system. What you ready to mind? hunt, huh? Say what? You ready to hunt, son? I'm ready to hunt. Rogan got you ready to hunt, son. Bro. He got me ready to hunt elk only. <laughs> but, but no, but seriously. So it's like he's like something primal happens because I asked him why all these like rich people hunt. So I was like, what's that about? He's like, you're trying to tap into your primal reward system, right? So there's these things that we've built to be rewarded, and then I think women and a lot of times men because they're like think gender roles are bad are like shunning. These rewards, they're actively making themselves less happy. Ladies, if you're not cooking for your man, you're actually less happy than you could be. Yeah, 100%. And as a man, when your woman is cooking for you in that way or tidying shit up, one of my favorite things is when I'm going to sleep at night and I take my shirt off and I just put it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and then I wake up in the morning and there's nothing on the ground. That's one of my favorite things. I literally see that and I go to my girl. I go, I love you. And I give her a big old kiss. I love you. And one of your lady's favorite things is when she goes to a store, picks some shit out, 
And they go to the cashier and you just pull your card out. She don't even have to ask. I hunted it. You hunted, yo. When I swipe my card, I'm pulling a bow and arrow. <laughs> and I'm and I'm and I'm shooting is it shooting an arrow? <laughs> Lancing an arrow? That's right. I'm doing it. Yo. I'm in my Lord of the Rings bag. Yo. Elven talking? ears, bro. I got that elven ears. <laughs> Another way you can flex your masculinity, just go. break something and hire an Edin Mexican to come fix it. That's the thing. <laughs> Son, that is the most First of all, I don't let men fix anything in my house when my girl's around. You wait till she leaves, yep. and then you have them come in. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> My girl thinks I put up the mirror. <laughs> she really, she really thinks I put up the mirror. I was like, "Don't worry, babe. I'll take care of it." One p.m. put up. <laughs> Someone's at work. <laughs> This whole quarantine fucking up my, what is the assistant shit? There was a website. Oh, Taz Rabbit. Taz my Rabbit, Taz, yo. Man, I had a whole school of rabbits cooking shit up in my place, <laughs> fixing up the toaster, fixing up the oven, all this type of shit. Whatever you need, I got it. It's a, you gotta, I'm a man. You got to get her out the house so you could have somebody come install that bidet and say you did it. Well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to install the bidet because we're on quarantine. It's, uh, be careful, son. You really, is it that crazy? Like, it's a little bit because... I want to see the videos you trying to put in and it shoots you in the face. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm saying. I like, will do that, but you fuck have up, the water's going to... girl know If I you fuck up, it. the water's going to go spraying everywhere crazy. But I got to turn off the water. Yeah. So you just turn it but off. But that's like even a simple task for you. <sighs> I'm not as dumb as Akash. <laughs> 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 that's debatable. Who's the most helpless person here? It's close between me and Akash. It's, it's close. It's, it's real. Close. Like, we be competing. When it's technology, <laughs> it's definitely you. Technology, but it's like, what if it's technology, it's me. But when if it it's, comes to manual <laughs> things. Oh, him. Yeah, probably Akash. It's, it's very hard to... I'm really bad at simple shit. Like the more Sorry. simple, the more nervous I get that I'm gonna fuck it up. But if you give me something hard, I'm not that bad because I'm like, ah, there's not much pressure here. Son. Nobody expects me to get it done. I want you on my single. Do you show this right here? Show it. Yeah. Okay, Let them so know. Right here. This is how this is supposed this to. This embarrassing right? for me. This fucking Indian retard, right? Yeah. I told him to <laughs> fix the microphone stand, right? I can't get it. This motherfucker bent it back. Like one of them fat black chicks legs, you know, you know, when the knees go, you know, the Beyonce fans, how they go inside, <laughs> the <bow -legged>. you know, <laughs> they bend back like yeah. the, what's that movie? Uh, Avatar. They look like the yeah. M's. They look like M's. Yeah. Like greater than and less than. And just bent, he bent our whole shit. Broke Sad. our whole shit, bro. Sad. Mad help us. Still love you, dog. Mad help us. Still love you. you know I want to I mean? see a video you putting up this bidet though. Yo, no, yeah, we're going to yeah, make that, that happen. That's going to be interesting. <laughs> if you we'll, really we'll gonna do this yourself, I want to see that. Say again. If you're gonna do it yourself, I want to see this. All right, I got this. Because yeah. we'll I was, get, a, we'll I was a little, video, but I can't have I my girl see it. It is, a, it is a thing that you, she cannot see me in these. Put it on the Patreon. Maybe, or, maybe mm. we will put on Patreon. Mm. Akash, you got a flagrant take? Fuck, I had one. I forgot it. Will come back to me. Your flagrant take is that you're dying from fucking Corona. That's what it is. That might be. That might be. You literally dying. have had nothing. Not we literally have had nothing to do this week. Yeah. And we didn't have a flag or take. So, <laughs> if no. you guys all turn off the podcast right now, no. I'll understand. Let me see. I'll completely understand if everyone I here. One. I have a I came Al came through with the flag or take. Hit it. Akash, what would you do if you actually did that? Oh, I had one. Here we go. I wrote it down. Mm. Uh, go. Kobe's death is actually oh what made God, him. Bro. Are we flagrant or not? Are we flagrant or not? Are we flagrant or not? Can you hear me? God, joy at least. Can we? Can we hear me out? You got nothing to lose. Don't deafen on me. Come on now. I put Stay up with one me. picture with a helicopter in the background, and then this guy got to do a fucking Kobe take. Go you on. ready? Go. That's what made him the greatest Laker ever. He always said he wanted to die early, right? I don't know that he said that, but I believe you. You said Tracy that. McGrady said he said he wanted to die early right. on the jump. I think it was. Yeah. So he waited until Lakers versus Clippers was at its peak. Like the Clippers are really making a run for it. Mm. The, the, the arena's more torn. It's still a Lakers arena, but yeah. it's more torn than it's ever been. Okay. And Kobe said, fuck that. My Lakers are going to stay on top. And if I got to go early, if I want to go early, this is the time to do it. Ooh. So, if, so you're saying that, I mean, obviously that didn't happen. But uh, but you're saying since he died, you can't jump ship from the Lakers. You can't jump ship. From That's the Lakers. an interesting point. You can't jump ship. You gotta, if you were you feeling ride torn at all, it's not even like oh, what do out. I do? If you if you were remotely torn, yeah. you're like yo, fuck the Clippers. And yeah. we're rooting for L.A. to. Oh, win. you on board now? <laughs> Come on, you son. on board I now? Got you son, you my proud. You on board you now? Huh? Huh? Bro, we just right needed to bully Alcas so we get some evil out of him, bro. He came in too nice, bro. Yeah. He was in Canada. He son. soaked up some of that nice uh, kindness. Son, that you came in on edge. Say yes, motherfucker. We in a pandemics, bro. <laughs> 
rocks. What are we going to do? What the fuck you think, bro? Put some money in the market and let it rock. Your immune system is shit on regular. I'm the one that should be worried. I'm worried for you. I got the asthma. You do have the asthma. I got asthma. Yeah. I, if I got but, asthma, then I'm, I, that's a pre So if you condition. die, who's your mom going to call? Your other brother? You. No, me. So I got to deal with all oh, that. that's a problem, a five-minute phone call? Son. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. He don't speak yeah. to his own mom. Like, right? oh, my, my mom called me yesterday. Be like, yeah, we're trying to quarantine. I was like, mom, I'm preparing for the cool quarantine pot. <laughs> <laughs> <It's not even laughs> I'll call you. Are you safe? Are you good? Oh, man. I did make sure my mom was safe and good. They're straight. Okay. My brother had to. I had wow. To <laughs> what a hero. <laughs> nah, Holy bro. fuck, you called your mom? So I Who lives in the mom. same city as you? No, I did. I, did. I called her. <laughs> <laughs> I called her up. I made sure it was safe. I was like, yo. I, I, I hooked my mom up like I helped Alex with bags at the fucking <laughs> I'm like, yo, you good? <laughs> I wait for Alex to lift it on his own, and then I go, "Yo, you good? You got that? All right, you good? Yeah, you got that? All right, we good." So I just hit my mom. I said, "Quarantine." You know, Al will take you up on it. You good though? Oh yeah, that's why I do it. Yeah, no, but he'll no, he'll say, "No, no, he no, won't. No, no, You're too I proud." Know, I, know, I vividly no. remember your uh, bouncer story. Was I asked Al, "Yeah, you good?" And Al was like, "No, come over. We gotta take care of this bouncer. Oh, I'm yeah. not getting into this and, club." And then I learned I from that. You were pussy, yo. <laughs> Yo, no, yo watch your mouth, son. <laughs> watch your mouth, son. Yo, Al, I think Andrew just said to suck your dick I under know, your right? breath. That's what it sounded dude, like. Look at this stupid fucking mic stand. Look how stupid that look. Dude, this Beyonce fan like mic stand is so crazy, bro. Come on, I got uh, You said I deflect right yeah. now, son. Why you Did you say he's Arthur Fleck? No, I said deflect. You just deflected oh. off that heat. <laughs> Um, nah, but but what did happen though? You ran away from that white guy or something? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you mean, we shooting shots you mean at the everybody. One, we don't care. You mean the one, that, the one that just tossed you to the side? Son, that, one, oh, that white guy? I honestly, now that I think about it, I think <laughs> Alex pushed me. I don't think it was, I don't think it was just about I just pushed you like, in front of me. I think, <laughs> I think Al was like, I got it. Right? I think he's like, I got it. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Come to think of it, I don't think that I don't think it was a bouncer saying anything. I think it might have been me making that sound. I was like, uh. <laughs> did I make that sound out? Did I yelp like a little fucking Yorkie? You might have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I've been doing? You know that prank where the guy goes and moans in people's yeah. ears? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been doing that to my girl out of nowhere. <laughs> so, you, gotta you, know you gotta record that shit. So it pisses her off so she'll just be picking my shit up that I'll be leaving around the whole house so, trying to give her something to do. I feel so bad for her right now. Yeah. So, I'm a great you say, boyfriend. Yo, you son. sound like you're at home being tortured. Torture is to What do you, you mean? just drop a shit on the floor. <laughs> you're, you're pranking her and shit. Yo, I'll be honest, I don't know how that shit get cleaned up, bro. <laughs> what if she has Mexican cum? What up, if she bro. has Mexican cum while you're doing the podcast and clean up? How Wouldn't many rabbits is you? out there? Wouldn't that fuck with you? <laughs> pinche conejos. <laughs> pinche conejo de mierda. Haciendo todos los tasks. <laughs> All right. Eden, what did he say? Yeah, I know, right? I said fucking rabbits. <laughs> doing all the tasks. <laughs> Oh, but uh, in all seriousness, man, I think, no, we have a great relationship. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's all about, you know, symbiosis, bro. You know what that is? Yeah. What's symbiosis? What's chlorophyll? What's <laughs> <laughs> chlorophyll? <laughs> What's that, Akash? Did you learn that in your Bahamian medical school? <laughs> Bahamian? No, I couldn't get into the Bahamians, actually. You couldn't get into Bahamian nah, medical school? I got, I, uh, nah, I mean. Who? Yo, what is chlorophyll? Uh, selling plants that does photosynthesis. I don't know. Exactly. Uh, what is it? Yo, yo. Is he? Chlorophyll nah, <laughs> is how photosynthesis happens with plants. I don't know. I forget what it is though. It's like a okay. What's whatever. photosynthesis? It's uh how plants give off oxygen. It's the feeding process of plants that gives off oxygen. Okay. And carbon dioxide. What's a leaf? <laughs> 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 he stumped on that one. <laughs> yeah, I got tick nothing for tock, you. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Let's go. What's it's a leaf? It's a green substance that sticks off of a branch of a tree. Uh huh. Or plant. What's a trunk? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Wanna phone a friend? <laughs>
Yeah, let me phone Alex right quick. <laughs> Alex, you want to take these ridiculous questions for a second? Yo, I'm just trying to see what type of scientist. Yo, you think I, this guy's even a scientist? Son. Come on, dog. Just letting son. your people down, so. Son. Yo, wow. have I been wrong yet, Ed? How are you going to ask Ed? That's true. Because he be Googling. Son, yeah. you were wrong about the Nazis. What I say? Well, when you gave them that swastika sign. I, hey, wow. hey, <laughs> hey. Whoa, they did, bro. That's an Indian one. We didn't donate the motherfucker. We didn't say, "Hey, borrow this." <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys, uh, look at something. Uh, uh, Hitler. Oh, uh, Hitler. <laughs> Let's go to man. Hitler. Yes. Uh, um, we are you looking for some insignia to help you with your people coming on? <laughs> And if somebody asks what's happening, they're like, somebody's going to get hurt real bad. <laughs> <laughs> Not somebody. We know exactly who. <laughs> and it rhymes with who. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> uh, yo, how did, if y'all don't know what we're talking about, the Nazis took their um, swastika sign from a, uh, a Hindu it's, sign. It's a Hindu it sign, yeah. Life or? Yeah, like prosperity, I think. Prosperity, joy, happiness, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Um, I don't know how they got that. And also, how can you have like a white supremacy race when you're taking ideas from clearly non-white people? That's a good point. I mean, that's how you should have known the Nazi shit from the jump was bullshit. But they didn't have the internet to tell people this is a Hindu. Like, the worlds are so disconnected. You don't think Hitler knew that that was some Hitler dabble knew. dabble? Hitler knew, but America <laughs> didn't know. <laughs> Say what? America didn't know. No, but Hitler knew. Yeah, Hitler knew. But people who were believing his shit didn't know. You but how do you say Hitler in an Indian accent? Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> so I hung out with Bash in Canada. And this Shouts to Bash, man. Shouts to Bash. That's the guy who created the Discord. I talked to the, to oh, Bash, I talked to the Discord, Al. We got some questions for you. Uh, but Bash first was telling me, like, I tried to speak Hindi to him. And he's like, Oh, we got some. We he got was some. like, Yo, can you not? Can you just speak English to me? Your accent in Hindi is really bad. I was like, have you heard, heard your, your accent in English, <laughs> motherfucker? What you think this shit is sexy? I, what the fuck is wrong with you? I so Yo, weird, Bash, dude. you gotta figure out that English, bro. Come on, dog. You speak English too good. But what's this I hear about Al? Indian. Fucking midgets. You out yeah. here fucking midgets? I wanted to try it out. Okay, he owned it. That one, I thought it was. <laughs> yeah. All right, fair enough. Hold on, you've never fucked a midget? Nah, and I want to know what it's oh, like. Oh, son. Oh, you have? Yeah. How is it? It's kind of like if you attach some chicken tenders to a fleshlight. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it feels like, to be honest. Son, when you do yeah. it. I was Say Disney. again? When'd you do it? I was in Disney World. You lying. You I dead ass? Disney World. Yeah. You were it? You fucked it's, in Disney World? Yeah. I fucked a midget right, in Disney World. Lying. Come one on, son. I'm, no. It was Snow White asshole. and the Seven Dwarfs, and I took one of the doors. So you don't want to know. You're not curious. Sniffly. <laughs> <laughs> Was that one of them? I don't know. I'm not sure about this story. I'm making up. But uh, yo, but interesting thing about dwarves is their pussies are regular size. That's what I want to know. I don't believe it. Well, that's what she told me, so I didn't feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think it is. Eddie Murphy got a joke about how he almost fucked a midget. And what happened? He yeah. chose a tranny instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he didn't. He said he didn't in the joke. Like that's the worst thing he fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I was just helping him, Jack. <laughs> Man, what happens with famous black dudes? They just love picking up trannies, bro. I mean, that's the sign you made it. Maybe they just want to sit next to somebody who will get oppressed more than them in a car. Whoa! Yeah, you know that curb episode where Larry picked up a hooker for the HOV lane, That's so he could take the carpool lane. Really? You haven't seen that, oh, dude? That God. episode freed a person on death row. Someone was on death row for murder, and his alibi was I was at the Yankees game, Dodgers Yankees or something, uh -huh. and the the police force or whoever just kept not believing him. He, I think, he even had his ticket stub. He had all this shit, and they just kept being like, "Yeah, but how do we know you're actually there? How do we know you didn't get that ticket stub from somebody else?" Tries thing after thing after thing, and then randomly his lawyer, uh, he remembered randomly, like, oh, they were filming something. There's a documentary about it on Netflix, apparently. I haven't seen it. I read the story years ago. Right. But, like, I remember people were filming something that day. Can Humble you comb through brag. the footage? Um, yeah, I read an article. <laughs> yeah, I read an article, guys. You be reading, bro. <laughs> you be reading, I read that bro. article on my phone some time Yo, ago. You be I'll reading, read a break, bro. <laughs> but I be checking out five-minute reads on ESPN, yo. This motherfucker signed up to Atlantic. Yo, speak more Spanish. <laughs> speak more Spanish. <laughs> vale. <laughs> <laughs> vale, vale, venga, vale. Puto. But uh, the lawyer looked through footage, <laughs> yeah. and there was a, that you randomly see that guy, like, he had to go, 
get concessions or something and they were, they weren't going to let anybody in but they're like all right fine you can come go through and he like brushes by Larry David's shoulder so like on a complete chance you see him walk by Larry David they know when they're filming and that's Holy how he gets shit. off it's fucking insane in the dude. episode in the episode he's like an ex- he basically just looks like an extra like i think He's leaving actually as Larry David, or he's coming back to a seat as Larry David is leaving, something like that. And they're like, "All right, fine, go back to your seat. You're not supposed to. We're not supposed to let anybody do this, but wow. go ahead." So he brushes by Larry David, and that's what saves his fucking life. How crazy is wow. that? Wow, that's dope. That's crazy. I thought that they used that as an example. Like someone was like, "No, I also picked up a hooker in the HOV lane." And no, that's no, no, no. No, he saved this episode. The actual episode the tape saved someone's life. Saved a guy's life oh who was accused of murder on God. death row. Now, he could have still done it, but he also went no, to the No, because game. the exact time it happened, he was at the game. He said he was with his son, so, like, there's no way. And even then, they tried to make it, like, you could have. It was, like, a, an hour away where the person got killed. They, they, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. That's crazy. Crazy. Um, but anyway, yeah. uh, maybe Eddie was just picking up the hooker. So like, look, if the cops, if we get pulled over, I want the cops to hit someone more than me. This is the 80s or 90s. Mind or maybe you. he had alcohol or like drugs in the car. Oh, so he was like, well, this is a hooker will distract or this trans will distract like, him. You stop at trans. Like if you're, <laughs> if you're a cop and you stop someone, they got a tranny hooker in there. They're not going to look for the coke. Right. And I don't yeah. think you get any time for fucking trannies. No, I don't think. I don't think. You get any time. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god! How does it work? Oh uh, man, I don't think it's illegal. Can you legally do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're an idiot. So. I'm being serious. <laughs> yeah. Can you legally do that? Because oh, there's man. certain things you can't legally do, right? Like what? <laughs> well, you can't have sex with your dog. Okay. Okay, I see your point. There's a law against that, huh? There's a law against that. Well, I was young. <laughs> But <laughs> <laughs> I think that you know we should forgive things that happened a long time ago. Got you, okay, got we're not part of cancel culture <laughs> here in the podcast. It was so, also a big dog. Okay? Yeah, your, your dick, your dick was dog size, right? Back. And I put the ridge in that back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> but uh, but no, in all seriousness, I like I didn't mean uh, it was illegal because it was uh, a tranny. I meant it was legal because it was a hooker. hooker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I wonder if there's a bigger fine because it's a tranny. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, honestly, also, do you think they get in trouble for lying to the cops? Like, <laughs> like, like, you're not cooperating. You perjured yourself. Yeah, like the trainees, they're like, I'm a lady. And they're like, please tell us <laughs> what you are. I'm a lady. He's like, okay, you're lying to the If police. you're lying about something this small. <laughs> who knows what, what else? Who would you really laugh at? <laughs> uh, anyway, um, guys, uh, wait, where were we with this? Uh, we had just finished our flagrant thoughts. <laughs> was that flagrant thought? All right, we got somewhere. Thank you for getting us somewhere. Actually, that was a phenomenal flagrant thought, Akash. Hey, you, man. You got us. You got us where we needed to be. Okay, yeah, we got a lot of time. Um, I just want to check in with everybody. I hope everybody at home is doing okay. You know, uh, if you need some advice uh, what to do in the quarantine and you need some advice about what to do, uh, how to prepare properly, et cetera, just go check out the quarantine pods. Alex and I have been dropping. Andrew dropped called it. the quarantine. Hey, man, we knew it was going to happen. It is uh, inevitable. What you see happening in Europe and Italy right now is what will happen to us. Plan now so you don't have to uh, plan too late. It is way easier. Can I ask you a question that I, I wanted yeah. to ask you. I understand we're tracking like on like exactly where Italy was tracking. Yeah. But in a country that's this much bigger with this many more people, not is it as big of a deal? But I guess is it as big of a deal? I think. It, it, I mean, if you just look at it mathematically, right? It's the same. But same percentage deal. wise, like percent of population infected, percent of, and also just in terms of, we have so much more space for this thing that would have to cover. Like right. There's so many more remote areas, I would assume, here than there are. Yeah, I don't think the remote either. areas will get touched as much. But we also have way more uh, dense, densely populated, populated areas. areas. And that's where it fucks up. I mean, yeah. just think about it like zombies. Yeah. Right? It's just like, yeah, it's easy to be in the suburbs when a zombie apocalypse is happening. Maybe not the suburbs, but, you know, right. like some ranch yeah. in Joshua yeah. Tree or some yeah. shit. But uh, if you're going to be in Atlanta, if you're going to be in, dude, imagine how fast those zombies are. <laughs> they just go Sorry. right for your ass. A Kenyan <laughs> zombie will never stop chasing you. <laughs> ever, ever, ever. <laughs> you can get in a fucking Honda and drive to the bro, Congo and he'll still just still be right behind there. you. Dude, Jason got to be African, bro. Do you know the Jason Voorhees? 
Oh, yeah. Because yeah. that motherfucker's stamina is unbelievable. He yeah. don't go fast, but he he's just power coming. walking he behind you. Coming, yo. he, he does not stop coming. <laughs> he does not stop coming like all you Italians on free Pornhub for the next <laughs> month. Yo, these guys are singing out on balconies, man. They be, they're doing it all right. I think that singing shit is cute for like, a week, and then eventually you're like, "Yo, shut the fuck up!" Oh, they get tired. I would have, I would have told him, "Shut the fuck up!" All for it. I think New Yorkers, we would have, if someone was out there, like, "It's up to you." <laughs> shut up, <laughs> Megan. <laughs> yep. I think immediately we ain't got time for that. Yeah. Put some noise canceling headphones on. Play some Call of Duty. Get your life together. Um, but yeah, why were we saying this? Um, the Italy versus oh, yeah. US. We just wanted to check up on y'all, make sure y'all good, man. And uh, if it can help in any way, do that. And I think pass it around. I think that can always be helpful. If um, The podcast, not the disease. Yeah. The, the disease is going to go no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to get that no matter what. How's everybody uh, doing, like, exercise-wise, staying fit since we're all, I'm like, not, stuck in the house? I haven't worked out one. Uh, Every once. gym is down. You just got to start jogging. That's all you can do. Yeah, but there's, oh. like, these, like, in-home exercises that we could do. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And uh, I think if you get some, like, little weights or even those, like, um, what are those called? Those little rubber band things. Mm-hmm. I think you can simulate a lot of that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. But for me, it's just heart rate. I got to get my heart rate up. Yeah. You know? Um, but, yeah, so some interesting things happening, obviously, because of uh, the uh, quarantine. Uh, and also the, the fucking coronavirus is uh, sports are done. Yeah. 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 Good thing we don't only focus on sports <laughs> on this podcast. Ahem. <laughs> Ahem. <laughs> I want all the listeners to complain like, y'all not doing enough sports talk. Keep that same energy up. Yeah. That's Keep right. that same energy with ESPN. Keep that when they're giving you the fucking top five best help defender list. <laughs> Them bullshit as they are struggling for bro. Struggle. They are struggling to keep the content up. Top five broom handlers in curl- curling. Curling. <laughs> nothing, yo. Curling. It's nothing. Yeah, no, it's bad. It's looking bad out there. So, uh, ESPN, CNN, the same network right now. All yes. y'all doing, both of you, is talking about Corona. Yes, that's it. You gotta hope that trades happen. You gotta hope that new guys get Corona. They're hoping every day a new NBA player gets Corona or a new NFL player gets Corona. How have more NFL players not gotten Corona? They're not even know. in the season. I don't know. Probably because um, they don't see as many people because they're about to be homeless with this shitty CBA they sure. signed. All right. Let's stop. Pay some bills real quick. Guys. Radix. Remedies. You at the crib. You stressed. You anxious. This corona got you feeling away. What you going to do? You going to light up one of these pre-rolls that Radix Remedies got. You know Radix Remedies always got you held down. Official. Okay. Um, they got the pre-rolls, you know, they got the drops, they got that neuro root. I told you about the neuro root last time. It's got the choline in it. Um, uh, basically improves brain function, uh, speed of cognition, memory, all these things. I need to get my dad on that shit ASAP. And, uh, it's essentially droplets and it piggybacks on the CBD. So you process it even faster than the, uh, general ones. They get processed in your stomach when you digest. So make sure you get on that. But again, it's the best CBD on the planet. Radix Remedies, R-A-D-I-X, remedies.com slash flagrant. Use our promo code flagrant. Make sure you get that discount. Simple as that. They got the leaf. They got the pre-rolls. They got the gummies. They got the melatonin gummies. If you need to go night-night, make sure you go to sleep. Make sure you get that night night. Make sure you go to sleep. Eddie wants to tell me something right now. What's up, Dougie? Uh, I actually want to give a shout out to a fan. Oh, yeah, uh, let's do it. Michael hates Mike too. So he sent me a video. Right. Apparently Radix is down the block from him. Yeah. Oh, in Austin. Yeah. And That's he went up. he went to say what's up, threw up the asshole, and they were like, yo, let's show you some love. And gave him a couple of products. That's what I'm he talking was hype. about. And let me tell you, they also sent over the beard oil for you guys. Oh, and I've been using it for my that? half beard. And now that shit growing fire, in. Fire. Now that shit growing in. Fire. That's what I'm talking about. And then you kind of just forget about the CD, CBD part. And then it all kind of takes in. Feels amazing. Relax. Yeah. That's what you got to do, man. Get on that CBD, y'all. Um, that's Radix Remedies. Remember, 10% discount. You know you're part of the uh, the Flagrant 2 asshole army. And they take care of y'all. Keep it tight. Now let's get back to the show. Now, they signed a new CBA. Yes. I didn't look it over. Akash, you've been looking it over. Now, I've been looking it over, and I'm, I'm not the best with, like, the actual details. Right. I just know this was a shit deal. Right. A couple things off the bat Why to tell you. Why is it shit? I'll tell you a couple things off the bat to let you know it's a, not a good deal. Yeah. Is the owners were all saying what a great deal it is for the players, which is automatically I'm a little bit suspicious. Right. And then it's a 10-year deal with no opt-out. 
if I'm any human being and I think, you know what, I'm probably giving away too much on this deal. Would I also say, but you can't get out of it for 10 years. The last, they opted, the owners opted out of the last CBA, I think, and then gave, offered this one. If they opted out, it obviously wasn't, it wasn't like, hey, we're not being nice enough to the players. Right. These are NFL owners. I think disability, they've decreased the amount of disability pay for people. And they like, they said, we increase your pensions for minimum salary players. That's barely any money. They've, in, they've decreased disability pay, which is a problem in a game where you risk your life and narrowed the scope of what a disability is. So that's a massive problem. There's a lot of injuries that are going to be like, ah, oh, it's not a disability anymore. We what about pay low you. IQ? Can that be a disability? <laughs> Bro, you know what? You've been saying it for the longest, and I don't feel bad for the NFL players anymore. They're, no, they're retarded. And here's what also is fucked, yeah. though. A lot of them apparently initially just jumped at increased minimum salaries, and they heard increased minimum. Okay, let's do it. I, and I, then, I like that, actually. But then Eric Reed had an independent lawyer look at it, and he pointed out all these flaws, and a lot of them wanted to change their vote. And the NFL Players Association said, no, you can't change your vote. Whoa. That's fucking Who's the head foul of that? to me. Demoris Smith. And to me, he already negotiated a shitty deal. They had 50 something percent of revenue sharing before. Then they dropped it to 47. And now the owners with this deal are like, oh, it's going to go up to 48.5. What a win for you guys. And every network is acting like it's such a great deal. And that's another reason I don't trust any of these fucking because network the networks losers. Are in cahoots with the owners. Yeah. And I remember yeah. the initial offer was. Um, for the seventeenth gay, we'll, we'll gay gay. For the seventeenth game, seventeenth gay. If you're uh, see if you can fit that mic in your mouth. <laughs> son, I'll fit the, all the way to the wire. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go on. Uh, for the seventeenth game, they said we'll pay you a per game. You just contract. said gay again. No, I think I said game. Oh, you said game. Okay. Pretty sure. Seventeenth, seventeenth. I'm a homo. That you got it. Seventeenth. I'm homosexual. You got a yeah. per game pay. They just do it. But they cap it at two fifty. Yeah. So if you made less than two fifty a game, you'll make the same amount. If you made Russell Wilson money, two million a game, oh, yeah. uh, you get two hundred fifty thousand dollars per game. So where does all that extra money go? They initially did away with that, and now your your game your gay is per, like <laughs> um, per game or whatever. Now it's like it's adjusted normally. But just off rip, you're gonna tell me that's a good deal, and this is what you are offering me. Yeah. And you're telling me it's fair? Like no chance. But you're None allowed to smoke weed now. Yeah, that's another thing these fucking retards jumped at. What? We can smoke weed. Let's go. Like, big deal, dog. Everybody's going to be able to smoke weed in the next three years. Yeah, I think, um, but I do think it's good because I think they'll be able to play through pain more. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. That you won't get punished for, but you could have got that regardless. You think they would have given that? They would have so given is that. it legal to smoke weed in the NFL now, or you just can't get fined for it? If you, you're, get you can still get, it? you can still, if you get arrested for smoking weed, yeah. then you get suspended for getting arrested. You, they're just not testing for it. And you won't get punished if you test positively for marijuana, actually. That's what it is. We'll do drug tests. If you test positively for marijuana, no suspension. Hmm. Maybe you can get fined. I don't, even, I don't even know about that. I guess what I'm saying is, can they smoke weed or not? Yes. If, if they're smoking weed in their house or in states where it's legal, you're good. But the team itself, like, I don't think the Patriots are going to let them smoke weed. I think... If a player gets tested, not like in the locker room. Oh, they're just not going to test. They, they do drug test, but if you get test positive for, if you test positive for cocaine, that's a problem. Yeah. If you test positive for marijuana, no suspension. Yeah. That's fine. That's the amendment they made. Okay. Fair enough. That's reasonable, I that's think. That's reasonable. Um, yeah, there's one thing that I, that I put together uh, based on this last week, and that is that athletes don't get paid enough. Yeah. When you take away sports... You see how responsible they are for the distraction that we need on a day-to-day basis. Uh, yeah. It is mind-boggling. So we look and we're like, oh, my God, getting LeBron making $30 million a year. He's making too much money. No, he's not. He's making too little money. Think yeah. about how boring our fucking life yeah. People are watching a marble race on Twitter. Did you guys see that? No. no. And it was scintillating. <laughs> Dude, they just let these marbles go down this track. I watched two minutes of it straight. Because there's nothing to fucking watch. Sucks. There's nothing competitive. There's Come nothing. On. And LeBron there's a, there's is, a lot of other things you could have watched. <laughs> other than porn? That. The difference between... That, that's 90 seconds. The difference between <laughs> that and LeBron is the marble race is two minutes. The playoff game is two hours. And yeah. the drama that goes around yeah. it, right? The conversations, the hypotheticals, all oh. these types of things. Um, it is just... If you I think get athletes it. make too much money, explain all the people that make their living talking about athletes. Like there's an entire ESPN was at one point an empire built on talking about athletes. Yes. I bet the head of ESPN made more than LeBron's salary. Oh, for sure. 
Understand. As he should. He has to make much sure. tougher decisions. I'm not saying what's right yeah. or wrong. No, yeah. but we're saying athletes can get paid more. I'm not saying ESPN gets paid too much. We can pay athletes more. Right, right, right. We could just based on how important they are. But I think sometimes you need to like remove somebody to see how they're important they are to yeah. you. You know what I mean? It's like breaking up with a girl. Like those that first week you see what they really yeah. supplied you in your life and right. how they made you feel. Um and I think we're feeling that that now with like sports. Like, yeah, we knew we loved it, but I don't think we realize how much we loved it. And, um, and yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll have a different perspective moving on. Maybe we'll come back and we'll be like way more on the player side than the owner side. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I was on the player side for the longer, but like, I just this I respect a bad deal. owners only because I understand what it is to like put up money for shit, and it is different. It's like I think at the end of the day, not everybody wants to put up a billion dollars. And not everybody wants to be on the hook for payment. And not everybody wants that responsibility. It's easy to be like, I deserve more money. But right now, we're right now we're in the situation of a perfect situation. When a pandemic happens or some kind of like, you know, uh, international tragedy, those owners, I mean, they might not be on the hook for everything, but they're still on the hook. Like, those owners got to do the right thing and pay their staff and they got to take yeah. care of all these things. So it's like... The players, some of them are stepping up and doing that, but that's not their responsibility, Yeah. right? If you're an owner, that's your responsibility. So it's like, yeah, maybe these owners are making all this money and stuff like that, but if shit hits the fan, they got a lot of people to pay while they're not making any money. Yes. And, and this- people need to put that in perspective because while it looks like you were out there getting fat, you could get real slim real quick when you're not still generating revenue and you've got 10,000 people to pay. So- I don't begrudge any side of any deal for trying to get the best deal yeah. ever. I don't think anybody's self. That's what we all do. That's what yeah. you're supposed to do. Try to win the deal. Yeah. I think the difference is you employ a few people. You have already told, even on the podcast, I think, like, I've set aside money that if shit gets slim, I can still take care of them. These are yeah. my people. There's a heart to it. And then you're fired. <laughs> Alex, he, he takes care of you. Yeah. you know what I mean, he takes care of the person he loves. Yes. <laughs> Owners, the NFL man. owners don't seem to man, do that son. at all. You're they don't seem to give a fuck. Uh-huh. NBA owners kind of give a fuck. NFL owners don't give a half a fuck. And that's kind of a problem. But also, I'm blaming the players right now. Yeah. And the NFL PA in particular. Y'all are fucking losers, man. Y'all yeah. wouldn't let them re-vote. If the deal sucks, let them re-vote. Yeah. I mean, that's also on the NFL players for just having such like a retarded deal. But when you're, you know, when you just don't have a lot of guys who are educated. And yeah, you trust your union. You trust like yeah. there's a lot of agents or a lot of um, contracts we'll sign that we just kind of trust our agents. That's our rep. Yeah. If he says it's a good deal, we don't yeah. know all the fucking mumbo jumbo of it. And I get it. I mean, I hate reading contracts. So I yeah. can't imagine a guy who can't read. So, like yeah, <laughs> what he goes through. Like, imagine a guy who's just illiterate. Like, Can you imagine trying to understand a 200 page document with CTE? Come on, bro. Come on. <laughs> DeBricka Shaw Ferguson, you think he could read? <laughs> you know what I mean? Parents could barely write. You got an apostrophe in immediate, immediately at the beginning of your word. You're not French. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> DeBricka Shaw? <laughs> Come on. <stop>. Uh, but, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that was one thing I thought was. Um, I thought anyway, it was fucked up people, people getting it tough, man. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second. Uh, teach y'all a little something about wearing a shirt and not looking like an asshole, okay? Mm. An asshole in a bad way. I mean, we could always keep it tight on this show and look like an asshole in a good way, of course. But um, you're out here. You're wearing these button-down shirts. I understand. You want to look business cash. I understand. You got to impress your girlfriend's father and mother or something. You want to look professional, but you don't want to be all tucked in. Maybe you don't own a belt that you're proud of. You have it untucked, but you're wearing shirts that are buttoned down, so they're not meant to be worn untucked. Well, if there was only a company that could be worn untucked, un dun 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 I don't know what sound effect that was, but we're going to keep on rolling regardless. Untuck It. Untuck It is a company. It makes button-down shirts to be worn untucked, so you don't look like an idiot mm. when you have it untucked. Mm. Fit your body perfectly. They're cut to hang appropriately when untucked. You can be business cash whenever you want, okay? You can go out there in the world without a nice belt. I mean, honestly, who has a nice belt? I've got this Army-Navy surplus plastic-looking leather. It's horrible, but I drop my shirt over it, and I'm good to go. Very simple. Untuckit.com. Use our promo code FLAGRANT. You get 20% off your order. Go do it. What are you waiting for? You know you need a button-down shirt, okay? I know you're quarantined for a few months. 
But after that, you're going to need to look professional. Maybe you want to be quarantined, have that date night with your girl. Look professional. Make sure you do it. Make sure you take care of business. We're not playing any games. We're not playing around. Untuckit.com. You know that promo code is flagrant, 20% off. I could barely speak. And let's get back to business. Um, yeah. Hoes are getting hit hard. These whores. Why the hoes getting hit hard? Dude, imagine you're a stripper. Imagine you're a sugar baby. So sugar daddy has a sugar baby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, that's over. Mm. Sugar babies can't get taken out to dinner no more. Sugar babies can't get taken to the island on vacation. Sugar babies can't get taken to the game and sit courtside. Mm. Like, all these bitches that made their money based on being fucked, right, in certain ways, or at least, like, being around people that were fucking. Like, there are tons of these girls that make their money. People don't realize this shit. Thoughts are going to take it on a fucking head, and I actually don't feel bad. All these girls did. Ain't they been doing that? They take it in. (laughs) So all these girls, right, they did, like, go out to the club to pay their rent. Yeah. Right? So they'll do like these model houses, right? Where like 15 girls live in one apartment and they all have like roommates and shit. And they got to go to the club two to three nights a week and that's their trade. So they pretend to be a model during the week or try to be a model during the week, but their rent is paid by going to the club at night. Well, Mm. the club's closed. You think those promoters are going to keep spending 10 grand a month on those apartments that you guys are living in? (laughs) Fuck. The club's closed, you're closed. Right? You want to go to those promoter dinners? Ain't no more promoter dinners because the restaurants are closed. You right? Remember, you remember how you talked about in Chernobyl? The dudes just took over because like so many guys died. The ones that were left were getting all the baddest bitches. You're talking it's, about uh, Russia after World War II. Okay. Yeah. It's about to be the same situation? Because there's, there's suddenly a flood of hoes looking for dudes to take care of them. Oh, yeah. Not that many rich dudes, especially because a recession is coming. That can take care of you. That's interesting. So if you know you're one of 60, 15 side chicks, you just got to put up with that. Yo, honestly, the level of pussy that that you're getting right now, if you're a single guy, it's about to go way up. It's about Mm. to skyrocket. Because all those dudes, all those finance dudes that were spending all the money and having four or five like dime piece chicks Mm -hmm. in their little rotation, they're broke now. Mm -hmm. All their money was in the market. That's gone. So those girls aren't getting supported by them. So they got to go. And they got to drop their standards down. Matter of fact, you're going to drop your standards down to a dude who's got guaranteed income you work for the state you know what i'm saying okay policemen firemen garbage men hey they need it they deserve no it. they deserve this they deserve it. okay because they out there in the streets so al you don't work for the state no more i'm just saying you work for the schultz i'm, I'm, happy, <laughs> I'm happy for my people man. but real talk blue collar motherfuckers about to get some pussy. Man, you i work really for the believe <laughs> i really believe that they're going to step it up because those are the dudes that are going to be guaranteed. Those are the dudes that that health insurance is unwavering. Those are the dudes that are going to have that check no matter what. Mm. They never live too far above their means. There's a lot of motherfuckers living way above their means, and now their means is getting questionable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? So those girls are going to have to go somewhere. They want to be taken care of still. They're going to have to adjust their lifestyle. You know what I mean? You going from red bottoms to flip flops, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you going to be flippity flopping it, bitch. Red bottom to flat bottom, bitch. That's what it is, bitch. Do you know what I mean? Red bottom to apple bottom. Nelly, bring it back. <laughs> Nelly was talking about bringing back apple bottoms. Hey, really? This is the time. It might really be the time. They're on clearance time. right now. Mm. The hoes or the jeans? <laughs> we can... Hey, everything's on sale. It is true, man. It is true. I mean, hookers, how could you make your living as an escort right now? Well, I mean, they're probably stuck. Kicking everybody's home. So you just. But you got Corona. They don't care. You're a hooker. You think they care about Corona, son? No, I don't think they care. But the person that they're fucking might. Because the person that they're fucking. First of all, they're not going to fuck at home. Like, think about it. If you're a high class hooker, right? Let me hit you with this. You're no. a high class hooker. You're not fucking in your crib because your wife and kids are in the crib. Mm. You on business all the time. That's where you. Now that's you're where not you on turn business. The tricks or get the tricks or whatever the oh, word is. Why don't is. you fucking hotel? Ain't no hotels. Shut down. Hotels are shut down? They got to. They, they, nobody's traveling. Mm. They got to shut down. 100%. Mm. So now these high class hookers are staying in their nice spot that they can afford by fucking a few times a week. You understand, like, if you live in a life that way where you are fucking people to make enough money to pay your rent, you're not, like, putting money away in a 401k. No. Right? You're like, I'm going to figure this shit out later. Like, a lot of strippers are, I'm going to figure this shit out later. Yeah. Some strippers put money away, they start a business, you know? But most like, I'm going to figure this shit out later. Drug dealers, I'm going to figure this shit out later. 
it's gonna be it's gonna be a very sticky situation for a lot of these people. And they can't lean on the government. If you had a job, you could lean on the government because you have proof of income. You've been paying into some sort of job security. Yeah. I even asked my business manager today. I was like, because obviously I have you guys all on on uh, on a form of payroll, but you're getting paid as independent contractors. So I can't lean on the government. Mm. Right? Mm. If I was paying you guys as employees, like you weren't fl- freelance, then I could be like, hey, you know, shit is different. Can you hook it up? Blah, yeah, blah, blah. Yeah. And that's what a lot of these companies are going to do. So you're going to get bailed out. Mm. It's going to be crazy out there, man. It's going to be, yo, if you got disposable income, dispose that shit in the market. Just keep putting money in slowly. I think it's going to keep going oh, down. Oh, no, I wouldn't put money in yet. Put we a little money in now. Quarantine. I think you keep winning. I think you put a little money in at a time. Because de- trying to time out exactly when the bottom is, you almost never win doing that. But if you put money in now, it's going to, it's at 21,000 right now as of today. Or twenty even, it's gonna go up to twenty five. So if you wait till you it goes to like let's say fifteen thousand, which would be really bad, you'll make more than you would if you invested at twenty. But either way, you make money. So just yeah. keep slowly. No matter what, when you get in now, you could do it. I I was told, and we were talking about this on the quarantine pod. But I was told um, you got to look for indicators of when to get in the market. And my buddy was like, the best indicator is if JFK closes. That will be the bottom. Ooh. So keep that in mind, y'all. And again, this is coming from someone who's financially illiterate, so take it with a grain of salt. But if JFK closes, yeah. that could be the marker. You want to look for big markers, right? Because if JFK closes, that means the economy in the U.S. has grinded to a halt. And it's not going to turn back on until JFK opens back up. That's a great point. So look for the halt. Right now, they're doing everything to not quarantine us, right? They're like saying, you can't go to bars and restaurants, Yeah. right? That's basically saying stay home. But if they say stay home... Then, it spooks yeah. the market. Then everybody sells. Everybody yanks. Yeah. They're like, how long am I going to have to be in here for? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So they're trying to do whatever they can to not spook the market right yeah. now. JFK closes, throw a couple dollars in that bitch. You might do all right. Yeah. Uh, well, there is, uh, even though there's no sports, there has been some interesting sports news going on. Um, there's a big trade in uh, football. Yeah. Uh, can you make any sense of this trade? Break this. Down I for can't us? understand. So, from what I understand, the, the Houston Texans they have a wide receiver. This is uh, NFL football called. His name is DeAndre Hopkins. Yeah. He is the best receiver in the league. He's really fucking good. Yep. I think they were about to have to pay him a ton of money. Now, personally, I think franchise. Yeah, you franchise him. You can. There's solutions. Right. Also, if you have a young, we say wide receivers are generally useless. Yeah. And to a large degree, they are. I they think are. they're a little bit more valuable. Than you when you have a young quarterback. Than I think. Also, I think, I think they're, they're definitely more valuable losers. than the position they traded for. But also, when you have a young quarterback, it makes it way easier in the time while he's learning the game if he has a fucking phenomenal receiver to just throw it up to every once in a while. Because he can build confidence. He'll build confidence. And I don't yeah. understand everything yet. And this is a nice bail- escape hatch I have. And then as I learn the game, I don't need this guy as much because I know what's going on. Yeah. So if you have Deshaun Watson, who's good and is still going to be good, it's really nice, though, to have DeAndre Hopkins. I think that that makes perfect sense. Let me ask you a question. Can I finish the terms of the deal oh, real quick? Go, 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 go. They traded for a running back who, by all accounts, is washed Wait, on let, the— let me, let me ask okay. you a question about DeAndre before we get into yeah. to Johnson. Um, so, yes, it helps Kyler Murray, yes. who's the Cardinals quarterback. Yes. And he is a coming-into-second-year quarterback. Yes. Okay. Helps Kyler Murray. Here's my issue. What is the biggest problem with wide receivers? They are? Replaceable? Divas. Divas. Ah, yeah. Usually the biggest problem. Right. Right? You have to deal with their attitude. If you have a quarterback that is not good enough to get the ball to Hopkins, what ends up happening? Hopkins might mouth off. Might go diva. Might. So while... The upside is he builds the confidence of Kyler Murray. The downside, and I'm asking. Apparently, DeAndre Hopkins is a great leader. Like, the thing I was just reading on Twitter, right. trade just happened, is people are like, the Houston Texans, people are talking to her like, we just lost the leader. And you don't hear about Hopkins complaining in the media. And he didn't always have a good quarterback throwing to him. Before Deshaun Watson, I don't even remember who the fuck they had. But their, their problem forever was they never had a good quarterback until Deshaun Watson. Mm. So he never really mouthed off. Also, Kyler the Murray, that, Murray's. the uh, backup in the Broncos? Case Keenum. I think they had no, Case Keenum. another guy. But it? they did have Case Keenum for like a bit, I think. Um, Brett Osweiler of? or whatever. 
Osweiler. Osweiler, yeah. And he sucked. But we thought he was good for some reason. He looked the part. It was like He tall. looked the part. He had a good half a year with Denver. Got benched for Manning, and then they won the Super Bowl. And Manning wasn't even good when he won the Super Bowl with them. Yeah, but he could manage. But he could manage. He but if you're not even as good as, at, I don't know why the Texans signed him to a deal, but they traded Deshaun, uh, DeAndre Hopkins yeah. for a second-round pick yeah. and David Johnson, who is a running back that is, by all accounts, washed. Mm-hmm. The only position more replaceable than wide receiver is running back. I don't like the Cowboys signing their running back, Ezekiel Elliott, to a massive deal because everybody says you don't need to pay a running back a lot or draft a running back high. Right. Matter of fact, the San Francisco running attack that was so good this year, no good running back, like no high pick running backs. Yeah. They were undrafted free agents. Yep. The Chiefs, no, uh, no first round, second round draft it's picks. Useless running position. Back. Offensive is, line, defensive line, nothing else matters. Yeah, quarterback, offensive line, defensive line. Even quarterback, I'm like, eh. I, I remember some uh, this saying that Miko even said is, number one thing is a guy who can throw the ball. Number two, a guy who can get to the guy who can throw the ball. Number three, a guy who can catch the ball. Number four, a guy who can cover the guy who can catch the ball. That's how you what pay What about people. offensive line? Offensive line, oh no, that's number three. Sorry, a guy who can protect the guy who throws the ball. Yes. So lines first, and then receiver, and then corner. I just don't think you have to be that good as a quarterback. And again, I, I don't know as much about football as you do. You don't have to be as good, and uh, Brian brought this up. Another reason receivers don't have to be as good is the rules all benefit receivers now. Of course, yeah, yeah. Every interference call is going the way of the receiver. Right. So you need a more skilled corner because yeah. he got more to work against. No, no, I, I understand that with the corners. I understand paying corners, but like my feeling is the better defensive line you have, the better corners you end up having. Yes, absolutely. Right? The better offensive line the better quarterback you end up having. Yes. Because at the end of the day, these are NFL quarterbacks, right? Yeah. They can make a throw. Yeah. We're not talking about some, ooh, can you push that in? Yeah. We're not talking about like some fucking high school kids who, you know, maybe are trying to do their best to like figure shit out, right? We're talking about the cream of the crop quarterbacks in the world. Yes. These are the, what, 28 teams? 32. 32 teams. These are the best 32 quarterbacks in the world. Yeah. Right? They can make an open throw. They might not be able to do it on the scramble. They might not be able to like get outside the pocket. Okay, I understand that. But if you can protect them, I think they can get the job done. There's a lot. Of, it's shocking how many bad quarterbacks there are. There's maybe 15 to 20. But you can make them better with an offensive Off- line. Obviously. So, yeah, I would say number one is quarterback. Number two, defensive line. Number three, offensive line. That's uh, what you pay. One, one more thing I'll say on the quarterback thing is um, – Aaron Rodgers is going to be successful no matter where he goes. Yeah. The exceptional are the exceptional. That's it. Yes. That's all I'm trying to say. If you're exceptional, you can turn a bad situation decent. Like, to be, to be fair to him, Chris Paul, like, he's on a team with all bums, right? Yeah. yeah. But he's found a way. Yeah. He's exceptional enough to make yeah. that team good. Now, he's yeah. not going to win, but he's exceptional enough to get that team into, right. like, playoff He can position. elevate everyone around him. He can him. elevate, and I think that's what an exceptional quarterback can do. Yes. Um... I think you can put a bum on the Patriots and then do well. I think you can put a bum in on certain teams and do well. I think the 49ers are a perfect example of that. I don't know if maybe Jimmy Garoppolo is better than he played this year. Maybe if they actually let him throw it. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe. Yeah. But I also think you could put pretty much anyone in Garoppolo's situation. So to that point, the, yeah. best, quarter, the best friends of a quarterback are a good offensive line and a good running game. Because you take the pressure off the quarterback. Because it just he doesn't have to throw as much. Jimmy now, G can make it. Or when you do throw, it's five yards. Yeah. You're and not doing third and long. But when it comes to winning Super Bowl time, yeah. you need a Patty Mahomes. You could, you could make it to – Belichick will make it to the playoffs no matter yeah. who's quarterback next year. Yeah. If he wants a ring, yeah. you need a good quarterback. I, okay, I'm with you on that. And then you saw that literally in the Super Bowl because yes. you saw Patty Mahomes – Take the team, put it on his back. Yes. They were struggling offensively, and he's like, I'm going to go out there, and I'm going to make some he fucking plays. one long throw. He got his confidence, loosened everything up. Done. 21 points in the fourth quarter. Done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there it is. That's fair. If you want to make the playoffs, you could do it with a bum. Yeah. If you want to excel in the playoffs, you have to invest in a quarterback. Yes. Yes. I guess what I would say is, I think there's more longevity in that offensive and defensive line. So those are the first things that I would invest in. Yeah, invest in. 100%. And then I would hope... That we start getting quarterbacks. Good, great teams, they always say build inside out. That's exactly what you're saying. You need That's the quarterback. It. You don't have the quarterback. It's all pointless. Now, But good offensive line, good defensive line, and then everything else. But but do you pay uh, linebackers before uh, DBs? The problem with linebackers is they're kind of like running backs where they uh, they get used up very quickly because it's a it's lot of high-speed yeah, collisions. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. So linebacker, yeah. a lot of this also comes into who can I replace easier? 
a wide receiver is already, or a running back is very valuable. Dude, a good running attack, but I can find great running backs everywhere now. That's what people don't realize. You have to look at NFL teams like uh, like NASCAR. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like they're looking at the team as a whole car. Mm-hmm. And you know what? The brake pads are yeah. falling off. The brake pads are those linebackers. Yeah. Those linebackers aren't going to last long like brake pads. Yes. But you know what? We can switch them out. We can get some new ones in yep. there. Yep. And the Patriots and some of these other teams who have managed to be successful for a long period of time, like the Saints, have managed to be successful. A long, nobody talks about it really. Yeah. But they've managed a, a decent amount of success for a long period of time. Right? I think they found ways to replace. You know what? Let's take this all the way. Go. The engine or the lines. You don't have good offensive, defensive line. Your car doesn't have an engine. Done. The quarterback is the driver. Richard Petty or whatever. Who's the guy? Jimmy Johnson That's who great. wins the NASCAR every fucking year. Yeah, 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 Jimmy yeah. Johnson won like five years in a row. Yeah, yeah. That's your Tom Brady. That's your Aaron Rodgers. That's what happens when you have an elite machine, yeah. an elite engine with an elite driver. Yes. There are other people that have the same engine. Yeah. But they, they aren't can't do it. They can't the do same it. driver. Okay, keep yeah. going. The pit crew is the coaching staff. They know exactly how to manage everything that's happening. Oh, this tire blew out. And this guy got injured. Here's how we move around it. And they're building your car. And they're building, they're putting everything together. That's the coaching staff in the front office. Yeah, they, oh, yeah, okay, you got a great engine. Yeah, yeah, but what are you going to do to maximize yes. that? How are we going to make the car lighter? How are yeah. we going to make the car more aerodynamic? And that's in it. this, we have a budget. It's the salary cap is like a budget for the car. So we might have to go cheaper on brake pads. I know they're important, but we can save a little money there because we need to put more money into the engine. We need to pay the driver more. Mm. It's all now a balancing Now imagine act. one of the wheels was like, you got to pay me a third of what this car If the manufacturer is said, you got to pay this much and it's a wheel I can replace, be out. That's a wide receiver. Yeah. Now, if Jimmy Johnson is like, I need to make some money... You got to pay Jimmy Johnson. Pay you know, that we, motherfucker, We can't bro. win without Jimmy. Pay that motherfucker. We can win with different wheels. Brake pads, replaceable. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Pretty steering wheel, everything. we can get another steering wheel. Pretty much everything replaceable, except- Pit crew? You better keep that crew. Yeah, yeah, if true. they're the engineers making that car. Yeah. And somehow that doesn't factor into the budget anyway, so fuck it. <laughs> exactly. Just keep paying them. Yeah. That's it. That's really interesting. That I think people will understand how replaceable football players are if you can give them a metaphor yeah. for other shit that's replaceable. Yeah. Because I think we almost look at football players through the lens of other sports. Yeah. We're like, well, if o- OBJ uh, is the LeBron of football, then why does he get paid like LeBron? LeBron, yeah. Because ain't no LeBron. Because OBJ's a wheel. First of all, I don't even have a car without four good wheels. Son, he ain't even, he's like a rear view mirror. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You know how many Puerto Ricans drive without that? <laughs> yo, yo, you know what? You what, they win. got a frog covering the whole thing? You could win without OBJ. You could win without, matter of fact. He's never won. You will. Yeah. Matter of fact, he might be the thing that stops you from winning. He might be. He's the disco ball in the rearview mirror. He's just, a fucking. It's just too much attention he wants, yo. That's it. Always shining, like you know calm he down. He's the nuts that hang off the license plate in the back. <laughs> you know, they always have in trucks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's fun, but it weighs you down. Uh, now, I've been very critical of Trump, the way that he's bumbled this fucking uh, uh, coronavirus right. thing. I mean, he's done an absolutely horrible job with it. Absolutely awful. Uh, but he did one thing that I think is hilarious. What's that? Is he called it the Chinese virus during a briefing today. <laughs> he called it the Chinese virus. Is he wrong? No, it is. He also said the Chinese, he, he says the U.S. is seeing a potential recession. No shit, <laughs> Helen Keller. <We're, laughs> I mean, you got some real fucking yeah. foresight yeah. to figure out that the yeah. U.S. is experiencing recession. No way. There's I mean, a potential that comics will have to move their shows. <laughs> because oh. it's been happening since Friday. Son, I just want to point out, this is so, this is so funny. Um, all those comics out there yeah. that have been rejecting social media. Oh, All those yeah. comics are like, I'm not a YouTube comic. I'm not yeah, an Instagram yeah. comic. I'm going to say, first of all, if they haven't already gotten on board, if they haven't already gotten on and most of them have gotten on board, people, they were talking all their little shit, they're already on board. Yeah. But if they haven't, knock, 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 dinosaur. <laughs> it's fucking coming. Okay? Extinction level event. For comics that don't know how to use social media or won't adopt social media, YouTube, these types of things. Mm. It's over for you. There's no more spots. You're two months without spot pay, maybe longer. Yeah. You literally starve to death. 
Yeah. You'll be driving for Uber Eats or Postmates. Tim Dillon said something funny, which is like, what is it? Uh, most of you comics aren't talented anyway. This is the time to move back with your parents and get that college degree that you shunned for so long. And then he said, for you, the virus is the cure. <laughs> 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 Yo, go check out Tim, man. Tim got a great podcast, the Tim Dillon podcast. Funny motherfucker. Yo, what if, you know, I was wondering, and maybe this has been floated. What if right. it, this whole virus right. is Bernie Bo- Bros trying to get their man elected? But why would that help him? Because I, he's the only one right now that seems like he has any kind of any solution in mind, What's which is solution? free health care. If health care is free, it wouldn't have been so hard to get these tests done. All the shit that we're having trouble with. By the way, I flew in from Canada. Yeah. First of all, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law went to India before everything got crazy. Flew back the day Trump announced national emergency. Yeah. He said, we walked right off the plane. Yeah. Not just because we're U.S. citizens. There's people behind us where they asked, are you U.S. citizens? Yeah. They said, no. And they said, all right, go ahead. Didn't do anything. He said, when I went to India, third world country, as soon as we got off the plane, they checked everybody's temperature. Just to see something, if you have something. When I landed from Montreal last night, not only did I not even... I didn't even go through customs. They dropped me off in a domestic terminal and I just walked Well, you to do the customs Center. in Canada. But most of the time I do customs both. No. When I leave India, I leave from customs no, not there. not when you're going Canada to US. Okay. So Canada, you always do it over there. It's just easier because they're like, well, we don't want to fly your ass back if you actually try to sneak in. Wouldn't this be the time to do something though? Son, yes, you're 100% right. And um, yeah, I, lo- I mean, the check and the temperature thing, it just seems like a no brainer. So easy. It's so easy. Just check everybody's temperature. I mean, Alex had an interesting idea about doing like private shows here. And what we just do at the front go- front door is we just check everybody's temperature. If your shit's a little hot, be gone, fat. <laughs> go away. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? What do you think about that idea? Okay. I think it's a great idea. I think you almost even have to space them out in line, though. Yeah. Don't line up too close to each other even. Well, yeah. But the other thing, the problem with the checking the temperature shit is like you could have it but not show any symptoms. Like That's you. the scary thing. So <laughs> right now you seem somewhat normal even though we know that you have coronavirus. And we're going to find out a week from now when you start show, showing them symptoms. I really hope you get it first. Sorry? I really hope you get it first. I'm not going to get it first. I, I really ride a motorcycle. first. I hope somebody sneezed out the car window <laughs> and then she just flew right in her fucking forehead. I'm going to have a motorcycle helmet by Wednesday. <laughs> by Wednesday? Yeah. Son, what the fuck? Do you, you have like a motorcycle right or do you have a moped? I need I to know. I don't have a moped. I have a motorcycle. It's right out there. You walk by it when you walk You park them. By- <laughs> you didn't see the motorcycles when you walked so in? Know, you ain't no motorcycle if you can walk it this far. It has wheels, Akash. So does a moped. Yeah, but it's not a moped. So, I have motorcycles. You got the Mexican delivery bike. Man, don't, nah, don't say just, that, nah, bro. My shit is way more fire. Like, my shit is way more fire. I, I didn't been on that bike. <laughs> Yo, Ed <laughs> rode that here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, please. You said you're going to buy Ed in a bike. Please I, buy him that exact bike. I was going to buy him the Don Quixote version. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how Don Quixote is on like a donkey? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to get like the donkey version. You know those little ones with the little wheels and the little CBR <laughs> bikes the Puerto Ricans were driving around? That's what he's going to yeah. do. Oh, please do. Big old thighs warming it up. <laughs> but uh no i want to get him a bike bro edin says he's leaving us dog for yeah. the coronavirus yeah he got to yo everybody are you really gonna leave us or are you gonna keep coming and just do this I'll probably pass by. don't th- he really don't understand how this goes bro <laughs> yo yo edin got shit he gotta take care of with family you take care of that i know you know my mad at you we'll no no we're you. here to support you we're just trying to give you the best possible situation that you want to do i appreciate um Oh, by the way, some news in San Francisco's on complete lockdown. 24-hour lockdown. Bro. Complete. I like that. Think of all the KY jelly they're about to go through tonight. <laughs> that's the thing that's most <laughs> so, is there, not Purell. There's still Purell everywhere. Nah. It's Yo, just KY. The KY. <laughs> hey, sauce. can we be honest? We'll have a flagrant thought. When they said, what U.S. city do you think is locked down first? Yeah. Which one of us didn't think San Francisco? Who? When they said, what city going to have the biggest problem from Wuhan? The Wuhan virus. Didn't yeah. we all think it's going to be San Francisco? What the fuck is the Wuhan? That's the fucking corona. It's the name of the thing. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. There's, too, they many, got the there's most... too many negatives in that question. I'm, my, didn't my we think... confused. Yeah. Didn't we all predict this would happen? San Francisco would be the first city to shut down. Because there's so many Chinese. Yes, bruh. Uh, oh. It's that's a lot of Wuhan's out there. I wasn't thinking that. Wuhan's the name of probably 13 restaurants in San Francisco. That's a fact. Wuhan <laughs> Dynasty. <laughs> they, yo. Yo. And you know they were stuffing those egg rolls in their mouths. 
Wait, keep going about the egg rolls. Did yes. I miss it? No. Just I-, <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought we were going somewhere with the egg roll. Just because they're like dicks, you know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> yeah, <okay>. God. <laughs> so I fucked up. I was like, is, is it... Caught through egg rolls. I didn't know what was going on. At the end of the day, the bomb is on me. So, <laughs> what can you do? Brown guy's bombing again <laughs> now. Um, Yo, I keep calling my Muslim friends, and I'm and I'm like, this is crazy, right? And they're like, yeah, this is wild. And I, I go, how does it feel to be on the other end of terrorism for once? <laughs> oh, is this considered terrorism? I don't know. It seems like it. Is China terrorizing us? Bioterrorizing? I, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't seem like they mean to do it. But they're not doing much to not do it. <laughs> right? Like, if you keep doing these markets where you're just selling any sort of animal, it's going to keep happening. Right? That's where SARS came from. MERS came from. All them shits came from that shit. Like, I feel like they're finally going to shut it down. Can you shut down anything in China? Yeah, I'm we pretty sure. shut down shit in Chinatown. Yeah, but that's because they come here and they got freedom and they act however they want. The Chinese government, they handle that shit. Yeah. I guess in a very not freedom-like way. They got that dictatorship. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> this OCD ass motherfucker. Yeah, so. He's <laughs> you know I mean? like, oh, it's gonna bother me. <laughs> Son, it's a self portrait. You gotta take care so, of it. There's a um, uh, excuse me. So they stopped Damn. weed testing in the NBA. You guys saw this in the NBA. Oh, did you see that? I so they said they're not going to do any weed testing during the quarantine for Corona. Mm-hmm. It's basically Adam Silver going, all right, smoke some weed. You're not playing ball. Yeah. Which I think is cool. That's yeah. great. Because they don't test in the summer. No. You like you can smoke either. weed in the summer if you're an mm. NBA player. The least yeah. you could do is give them like reasonable shit that they can handle. Um, they this, should just let them just let them smoke, period. Yeah. During, during the season. Like, come on. That, that's like that dinosaur mentality. Yeah. He's weed. the like most progressive think- of all the owners. And I, I heard this point on the ticket. It seemed like all the other owners waited for Adam Silver, all the co- other commissioners, I mean, waited for Adam Silver to make a decision before they followed suit. Once he said season is canceled, then NCAA said we're canceling. Then hockey said we're canceling. Then MLB said we're postponing. Then Is WrestleMania still happening? Yo, they be doing wrestling without fans, and that's the weirdest shit ever. But wait, are they going to do, I know they've been doing like fights without fans. I like would assume UFC? so. I, is WrestleMania still going to be on or no? So, um, wish we had a wrestling expert wrestling to ask. Since. Yeah, I wish we had a wrestling expert or maybe someone with a laptop that could look shit up. So, yeah, Ed we're in. checking right now, Eden. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. Um, yeah, I think it's good. I think it's the right thing to do. Just don't check. Honestly, how much longer are we even going to check for weed? Just let them fucking smoke weed. That's what I'm saying. Is it that bag a, big a deal? So they right. haven't officially pulled it, but they, they're looking to potentially do it. WrestleMania in an empty stadium actually could work. You think? Because if you're at a home, it's not going to be the same, but do you give a fuck if you're quarantined? You I will pay for whatever. Just give me the oh. fucking thing. Yeah. We were saying that on the uh, quarantine pod. The, uh, the Netflix got to drop that Jordan doc, son. Oh, ESPN. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it ESPN? ESPN. But I think it's through Netflix, no? I'd be surprised if ESPN didn't go through because ESPN is a Disney company. That's what we were saying. So they would either go Disney Plus or just ESPN. Yeah, I don't Edit. know where you got this Netflix they, they, shit. They, they, yeah, it's not. Can you Google that? Sure. Thank you. Um, yeah, man, it's yeah, it's a tough situation. I think that I think that companies should not just roll shit out. Give something to the people. If you got some stuff locked, if you're something like HBO and you have like four, you have some of your shows like already cooked and ready to go two yeah. years in advance. Give them to the fucking people, man. This is the time. This is the time. Let us binge Westworld. Let us binge these types of things. It's not even about letting... Uh, sure, let us, but also this is the best move for you. We have yeah. nothing to do right now. Yeah. We will watch anything you put in front of us. Yeah, yeah. ESPN Films and Netflix chronicle Michael Jordan. Exactly. That's why you fucking Google shit. Right. You're welcome. Right for once. Wow. This guy said... Ten part documentary. What was the guy you said who made algebra? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> the guy, the guy who made I algebra. I got algebra and calculus it wrong. Sucks, wow. sucks. Newton is calculus, right? Yes. Yeah, he was like he was like Newton made algebra. What's the difference between algebra and calculus? calculus way harder. What is calculus? Son, who the fuck knows? And it came so after what's algebra. Something algebra was sign, already cosine. existed. Wait, what's algebra? Two times three equals six. X's. Algebra is X's yeah, and Y's. So the then letters. what's calculus? 
that's like you need the formulas and all I that shit. Fucking no, yo. They didn't teach that in fucking Bermuda School of uh, <laughs> nah, nah, of nah. Doctors. You, you, <laughs> Bermuda School of Doctors. <laughs> they just they just pointed to a dick and they were like, "Suck that." <laughs> and you pointed like, to their own dick. on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, algebra is used in everyday life, while calculus is used by gays. <laughs> <laughs> While calculus is used in more complicated problems in professional fields like business, engineering, and science, Calcul- algebra is the study of relations, and while calculus is the study of change, I still don't know what that means. Yeah, well, it's math shit. I think algebra is, is like trans math. <laughs> That's calculus, right? The study of change. Okay, yeah, calculus. Oh, fuck that. I get it wrong again. Uh. Damn, Isaac Newton be hating, bro. <laughs> Fucking Isaac. Yeah. What a dork. Yo, did you, did you guys discuss Rudy Gobert, Gobert on the Corona pod? No, yeah. maybe briefly. But, uh, yo, Rudy is a fucking do we? Oh, can we talk about this for a second? Because I had this theory that uh, Rudy, uh, no, I had this theory that black people can't get coronavirus. No, okay, go ahead. And then Rudy Gobert and then Donovan Mitchell got the coronavirus. And right. people were like, that disproves your theory they're black. And I'm like, no, they're on the Utah Jazz. <laughs> they're white. You <laughs> can't be full black if you're on the Utah Jazz. Didn't someone on the Pistons get it, though? Say again? Someone on the Pistons got it, I think. I don't know white or black. But someone on the Pistons got corona. Yes. Do you know what his name is? No. I believe it's Charlie Wood. That's a pretty white name. Pretty white name. Yeah, uh, Christian Wood. Christian Wood. White or black? Dude, if that guy doesn't go into like religious porn, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. That is the perfect name. Nah, Christian but, Wood. I was with you until... You know, the god Idris got it, though. Yeah, Idris. Oh, Idris got, got it, it yo. Yeah, so. I, 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 I don't remember my exact top five dudes, but that's I think I think yeah, I had Idris in my top, top five Son, hottest that's a dudes, handsome yo. guy, bro. Son, so. He looked good with Corona, yo. Yo, would you let him? <laughs> I'd let, let him give me that virus. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch that bug. <laughs> would you let him talk mad close to your face? Hell yeah, To the dog. point where, like, your nose is touched? Yes! So you guys get real close. Yeah! And then he's like... All right, we're going to get to the bottom of this, I think. <laughs> I got something you get to the bottom of, Idris. <laughs> this colon. <laughs> what? Too far? <laughs> That's what Akash said when he got fucked by him. <laughs> so, this is a sad far. day for black people, for hot dudes everywhere. Idris Elba got it, yo. So what happens? Would you Do you really think that you would have any kind of relationship with Idris Elba? No. <laughs> you wouldn't cheat, with your, cheat on your girl with Idris no, Elba? No, 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 no. No, but uh, his girl in the video, maskless. She, I saw that. She don't give a fuck. She recognizes. She, she with Idris, yo. I mean, that's a real one, right? Like, let's, let's, be, let's be on it. I You're lucky realize. to catch whatever Idris gives you. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I got an extreme, motherfucker. You're not playing games with these hoes? <laughs> no, son. Can we talk what a, a great friend I am for what I did for your girl? Oh, oh yeah. we didn't talk about this. I need, I was going to, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need my credit, bro. That's so what, that's Andrew, how just do things in silence, bro. That's, so, how, that's how bad he felt. So I, I pointed out. <laughs> I felt bad. So. I pointed out what a bad friend Andrew had been. I'm a great friend. Actually, I I, was just, I felt bad because you felt bad. I was just fucking with you. I know. But I had asked Andrew to connect me with this guy named Humble the Poet. You He's never asked me. That twice. never happened. I'm gonna find the text message. You've never happened. I'm I'm gonna find the text. Boy, point yeah, is, please find point it. Point is, this girl. I found out about. I found you out about. Just this, said your girl likes him. That's it. No, no, no. I asked. You uh, never point asked. Is, point is, I'll find the text. I'll find the text. You point will, is, you will find the text. I found out about this guy because you won't find from it. my girl, <laughs> <laughs> this Come was on. like, let me get to how good of a friend you are. Yeah, Humble please. was like the first cool, sick dude she saw out there. All right, let's take a break for a second. And we got to give a huge shout out to, uh, I think, a genius company, a genius idea. It's Mac Weldon. Now, Mac Weldon has recognized that as the industry is shifting, as clothing is shifting, as purchasing habits are shifting, people want brand loyalty, okay? Right here, we got the asshole army, we got the gang chucking it up. Massive contingency of people. We understand what that is. We understand what it is. Build a brand, build a team, build an army, right? Mac Weldon understood that people want to purchase different things from different companies that they know fit. For example, I like Subi jeans, okay? I know my size in Subi jeans, so I just go get Subi jeans now. I used to be that way with Levi's. Then they switched to sizing, fucked everything up. We have that kind of brand loyalty, but not with everything. There are certain things we just need to buy and not be inconvenienced by. 
and those are essentials. Underwear, socks, t-shirts, hoodies, okay? Maybe even like a spring jacket. There are certain things we just want to trust they're good, and we're going to put other things over them. They'll just be part of the outfit, but not the mainstays. They'll basically be the essentials, the basics. And Mack Weldon decided to build a business around those basics. It's genius. If you just knew that your socks and underwear would be made with premium fabrics, be comfortable as fuck, cradle those balls, cradle those toes, make sure that you were secure, and you could count it every single time, sizing was perfect, you would just do it, right? That's what they did. They solved it for you. Don't even ever go out of the house to get your underwear, socks, t-shirts, hoodies ever again. The essentials are solved for you. MacWeldon.com. You go to MacWeldon.com. M-A-C-K-W-E-L-D-O-N.com. Use our promo code flagrant. Make sure you get that discount, okay? You know you're going to get the discount when you do it with us. Get your underwear. Get everything that you need. You get 20% off with that discount. That promo code is flagrant, by the way. MacWeldon.com. It's as simple as that you have all the most premium fabrics. I can't, I can't stress this enough. All the time you see certain companies, or even when you go to the store, you get like you know some of their shitty competitors, and you wear it. They're stretched out after three wears. Not gonna happen. Premium fabric delivered right to your door. Treat yourself right. Treat yourself with respect. You're gonna be quarantined in your house for the next couple months. Make sure you're walking around comfy because you need to be comfy. MacWeldon.com promo code flagrant. Now let's get back to the show. If you got a father who got a turf <laughs> bug and like people always yeah. call him a terrorist and shit Dude, and like Indian Flintstones, bro. Yabble dabble dabble. <laughs> 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 In the car, instead of bare feet, he got on flip flops. Vilma. <laughs> oh god fuck so anyway That's andrew fine. had a humble send a video they actually to, have the same just lean huh they actually still have the same cars <laughs> little rickshaws y'all be running Yo, around son, it sags bro flintstones dog bro you ain't it's wrong true, about dog. it you ain't anyway go on it. so andrew had humble uh my girl's a big fan of humble big early fan on of humble. this is like the first guy she saw represent her religion and culture in a cool way mm-hmm. uh so andrew had humble send her a video i asked humble humbly i asked humble you humbly ass humble Humble's not easy for you to be it's not easy for me to be and he, he humble sent <laughs> so a video fucking camera like that <laughs> said uh <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> he did that for humble uh, and then <laughs> humble sent a video to my girl saying basically andrew's a funny video. Don't invite Andrew to the wedding. He's a bad influence. Whatever. It was cool. It I was shit cool. on my myself girl loved in the it, video. Huh? I shit on myself in the video. Yeah, yeah. Now he had a funny ass line. Shouts to humble. He goes, uh, she goes. I understand that like you got to invite Andrew to your wedding because you know <laughs> your parents don't know that Akash is a comedian and they think that he has a real job. So if you invite a white guy, that's like his work friend. <laughs> 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 a funny video. Yeah. No, he's a funny dude. Yeah. That was a funny dude. And that so, was so cool of him to do it. Yeah. And he actually sent me two, man. I was really? Watching, I just want to shout out him for how nice the guy is. He sent me one that was like funny. He had the punchlines yeah. and shit. That was the one I sent you. And then yeah. he sent me another one. was like, hey, Justine. Oh, sorry. Can that's I all good. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, Hey, Jocelyn, I uh, just want to let you know you shouldn't invite Andrew to your wedding. Have a good one. Something like yeah, that. Yeah. That's, she loved it, though. Yeah, she was just cool, like, man. this is so dope. That's right. You're in, you're in great. Uh, you're, you're in good with Hey, hey, with, I know. <laughs> hey. Hey, I know. All right. All right. That's Bet my wedding, out. yo. Bet you love If that. it happens. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if. All right. You don't know what the corona could do. Corona might stick around until October. Yo, yo, that's too real. What? It might be around till October. It might be. Yeah, I know. That's too that's too real of a joke, yo. No, I'm just saying. And keep in mind, if you get it, if you get me some corona, yeah. I'ma hold on to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'ma hold on to it. Yeah, like a sourdough yeast. I'ma have that sourdough mash ready to oh, bake, fuck. bro. Yeah. I'ma have that shit I run back again. Get, I'm gonna August. listen. Yeah. I'm a religious guy. Yeah. I pray to God to protect the people I love. I'm going to say, if I get it, please let me get it from Andrew. To God. Pray to God. Damn, oh, that's yeah. foul, B. Yo, if I get it, let me get it from Andrew. That means I got it first. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm praying happens. But I don't think there's any way where I get it before you. It's slim to none, chances. I think it's slim to none. Slim to none. Slim to, yeah. slim to none. I don't think I did. Because I'm tall. I'm 6'2". I'm above it. <laughs> 
Chinese Ramona dudes. be lower, dog. Chinese, yeah, them Chinese dudes be sneezing into your belly button. Yeah. Think about what it. Chinese it? people mad small. Obviously, how they going to give it to me? That's a good point. That's a good point. Have you had any uh, Asian, like, wait staff? Have you, have My you? girl ordered Chinese food yesterday. What is wrong with her? She, she white, yo. That's what they do. They're like, I told the delivery guy bad. to go. I told him to go. I didn't accept it. They, they be feeling bad, though. Nobody's, nobody's white people. I don't know. Nobody's what soliciting saying. Chinese businesses right now. I uh, know. Nah, we didn't feel nothing about that. The sort she did. I yeah, didn't feel nothing about that. That delivery man came. I said, "Keep it. <laughs> Keep the food." Did you pay him? Say what? Did you pay him? Hell yeah, I paid him. <laughs> 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 Tipped him well too. Out here in the coronavirus, trying to deliver the food to people. Man, come on, Akash. I'm not a savage out here, but I just can't be eating a full bowl of you know. <laughs> All right. Oh, All right. No, no. Corona and broccoli or something. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was looking for something. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't Chinese people have their go, dog? Like, everybody got their go. Did we talk about this on the pod yet? Mm, what do you mean? No. Like, everybody's going to have their thing when your people do some fucked up shit, right? Like, when brown people are blowing things up, you got some, some shit from it. Of course. Naturally, naturally, that's the natural course of things. Yeah. Okay, you know when black people, you guys are robbing everybody. Stop in for the risk, <laughs> <laughs> right? Stop, stop in for the risk. Yeah. You know, um, when the Charlottesville shit popped off, right? Yeah, I couldn't buy a tiki torch. Hmm. I wanted to buy my. I like my little Hawaiian themed uh, gatherings. Yo, my man had to shave his whole head. You remember that? Yeah. What I do? Remember you got that low ass buzz cut right out of Charlottesville? So, you used to have a nice swoop, and then all of a sudden you showed up one day just ha. I all let gone. motherfuckers know which side I was on. Yo, so you shaved your head? <laughs> Word. Hey, when it goes down in the race war, just remember, I got a Caesar. <laughs> I'm, with, I'm with y'all all right i said keep it light on the sides <laughs> white people a caesar is a haircut that is derived from julius caesar and has somehow become a, a thing exclusive to black people is that true i don't think so you've heard of a caesar i believe it's supposed to mimic julius caesar right didn't caesar have that tight yeah but you know black people getting a caesar yeah, the Caesar, I mean, bro. That's what we call it, but I didn't know it was called that because of him. I didn't know, baby. Well, what's it called? That from Lil Caesar? <laughs> I mean, that would make more sense. <laughs> give me that pizza pizza. <laughs> yo, yo. We be loving that pizza pizza. So. Yo, give me, that, give me that hot and ready. Let me get that hot and ready, yo. <laughs> <laughs> we say everything twice. He's like, that's funny, funny. That's funny. Yo, you stupid, stupid. That's <laughs> it. Give me that pizza pizza, dog. <laughs> Mm. What else we got, man? What else we got in that agenda? Let me see. Oh, it's good to be back in this Rona. I mean, this Rona. It's good to be back in this. Um... I got to get used to y'all switching spots. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? Because when I talk, you start jumping to me? Yeah. Or no, him? Just, no, no, it just feels different. We didn't feels... talk um, Tom Hanks and his wife. They got released from the hospital. Man, they never had that shit. Well, fuck Tom What's Hanks. Think? I ain't never had that shit. Fuck, Tom, fuck Hanks. Tom Hanks, yo. He just got it, so he just got it. Now he's the more like we care about him more now. Nah, Before Hanks. Idris, we cared about Tom. Now Idris, you don't care about Tom. I mean, if he goes, Cash as long as Idris Tom is still alive, Oakland, son. Tom got a hood pass. Terminal. As long as Idris is still alive. Yeah. That's it. Tom good in quarantine, son. He did the terminal. He comfy in the quarantine, son. Terminal was fired. Wait, what's Terminal? That the, movie the where terminal. he was pretending the illness to be fucking have. Balky and shit? What was he, <laughs> what was he doing? Uh, <laughs> With the, yeah. <laughs> so I said, yeah. We just wouldn't let him in? Why wouldn't we let him in? <laughs> Son, that was the whole movie. He just yeah. didn't have a passport? His uh, country, he became countryless in that movie. Why? Because his country went away? No, nah, like went to civil war or something like that. and then. The oh, he was from was Yugoslavia or something like that? It was some, yeah. yeah. Some made up country, I'm pretty sure. Prokosha. So he just started working Prokosha. at the uh, News? I fuck with that movie What was it? So yeah. So what happens? Sure. What happened? Do they? The movie's trash. But what happens to the? You didn't like even that? see it. <laughs> That's why it's trash. Yeah. <laughs> but at the end of the movie, the wire. He gets to go home. That's it. But That's it. You can't he gets to go to America for wifi. like an hour, and then he goes home. <laughs> so he experiences America. He got exactly what he wanted, and then he, he goes home. And then he goes back. And to what country? He just goes back to Krakosha. the country. Okay, Krakosha. There you go. Krakosha. I think we should have just made him work at Chibo Express. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been kind of lit. If he just started working at that Chibo? Yo. 
Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do uh, you know what Chibo Express is? No. That's the little, little Express Gourmet, little shitty ass sandwiches they got and stuff like that? Yeah, at the airport. That little bodega that they got at the airport. Yeah. Where oh. one Indian bitch Cordoba? always working, but she don't do nothing. Cordoba? What the fuck is wrong with C-I-B-O. you, C-I-B-O. i never seen that one. Yeah, that's oh. the real thing. Let me ask you. I need to ask a question, Indians. Indians listening. Yes. Ask your auntie why she don't never do shit. What? Whoa. The girl at the Chibo Express or the Hudson News is always oh, some yeah, Indian yeah, lady. Yeah. You ask her for help, and she like, that's what's there. And she don't ever ring nothing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does she do? Uh, She wishes she could go back to India, probably. There's planes there. <laughs> <laughs> You're damn close, lady. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. We, do you get different service when you go into that shit? No, 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 no. Do you hit her with an auntie? I'm No, auntie makes him feel old. It's this weird thing that started happening recently. Don't call me ma'am. It makes you sound oh old. Oh, my God. That's oh. even in your culture? Bro, it's infiltrated everywhere. Everywhere. It's terrible. So what do you call them? I don't know. I try to sneak it in there that I'm Indian. Taiwala? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you call that bitch Chaiwala? Hey, Chaiwala. Hey, Chaiwala. Come on, double, double, banana, granola bar, <laughs> <laughs> or whatever you order. Oh fuck! Oh, they just announced something. Hey, 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 Edit. Did they announce to tell you to shut the fuck up? Did they do that? Perhaps? Yeah. Did they make an announcement? Nah, just for WrestleMania that? will not be held in Tampa Bay. WrestleMania not to be held in Tampa Bay. Yeah. So will it be held at all? Just do it for, I don't know. That's it. That's all I get. Whoa. They'll probably just hold it in a smaller place so that they don't have to rent out that big ass place and then do it. Somebody was saying they watched it and the wrestlers would still come out and like pretend the fans were there. And it was just like a I really weird it. thing. This is going to expose how, obviously, wrestling's fake, but it's going to expose how fake it is. Yeah. And I think it's actually bad for the brand. Mm. Yeah. Super bad for the brand. Because you're like, oh, wait a minute. All this is choreographed. Like, we want to believe that you're down down for the count and then our cheering yes. for you is remember when we would go, oh, oh, whatever. Yeah. And then he would start to get energy. Yeah. What they do what they do that and nobody's there. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, yeah. I'm coming back, brother. Yeah, you look like a How are you coming back? I don't think they're smart enough to adjust the performance. They're not smart enough to adjust the performance. It's gonna be bad. It's a bad look. Do you know how stupid you look when you do your hair and no one's around? Son. They got all that fucking Vaseline in their hair. <laughs> For what? Long ass walk, nobody cheering. You know how long you ever do a do a, a show with nobody in it, and <laughs> they start clapping when they hear your name, and then stop clapping before you even get to the stage. Bruh, oh yeah, it's the longest walk. Imagine how long that shit gonna be from the top. Yo, <sighs> come on, bro. You think they have like a laugh track or but like a cheer track? I think it would sound too fake. That'd be even worse because no one's there. They're going to know and it. And you know no one's there. Yeah, everybody knows no one's there. Ay, 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 bro. Yeah. That's not good. Why don't they put like cancer kids that are about to go? Oh, my God. No, think about it. You got like the- They don't have the, the energy to cheer. Say what? <laughs> yeah, that's enough. Mic them up. <laughs> Mic them up. <laughs> and don't put like, you know, that can't, lung cancer or something like that that affects their like uh, cheering. The energetic cancer kids. Yeah, like foot or knee. ADHD kids. Yeah. So you pump them up with Adderall and then just sit them all around. They're out anyway. They're in the hospice. Yeah. You take all hospice people, give them one last exciting thing. Undertaker comes back to life, something they'll never do. <laughs> you know? I think that's a great idea. Take terminally ill people, make them be in the stands for Especially all the games. Especially if your make a wish is to go to like a sporting event. Well, they're all postponed. You want to go Super Bowl? How about WrestleMania? How fucked up is that? All these kids with the Make-A-Wish? Bruh. Disney World Make-A-Wish? All I want to do is see Mickey Mouse. Wow. No. Yo, can you ask for pussy for your last wish? Say what? Can you ask for pussy Chris for your Rock last wish? Chris Rock used to have that joke. What'd he say? They used to talk about the Jerry Lewis telethon. Mm -hmm. And he was like, why can't we get these kids some titties? And then he said, I've been watching the... He said something like, what do you want, Timmy? You want to go to Disney World? Nah, I want some big titties in my face. <laughs> I wonder, Ken. Damn, Chris, you fell off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you wonder if what? If they could, if they can ask for that. Because I think you can ask for anything, right? Yeah, but I don't know if you can get pussy. I mean, yeah, I don't think you thing. can ask for anything. You can't be like, yo, let me get heroin. And they'll be like, hey, let's do it. Yo, I mean, why morphine? Not? Morphine. Yeah, but that's, they're probably that's on legal. Already. But if they're like, let down heroin. Let me get be. crack. Then I go with you crack. Why not? Let me hit an AR-15. You know what I mean? Like, it's got to be legal. Hey. 
You're right about that. You're right. You're right. I was don't, tripping. Don't tell ever come from our guns. I was, I was tripping. Hey, 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 this is right here. This is right here from Texas. You're a Texas boy. <laughs> you're right about hey, it. Hey, you're a Texas boy. You're right about it. Now, do you think Texas is going to quarantine and say that people won't go to restaurants? Or you think they're going to be like free about that shit? I think they're going to be the last ones to quarantine. Okay, guys, any other things that we need to touch on? Do we want to touch on the microphone shit? Uh, what? The, uh, Rudy Gobert with the microphone? Oh, that's right. That's what we were talking about. I mean, it's just fucking, I don't know. I, listen, as a comic, I get that sometimes a joke you think is funny ends up not being funny. Yeah. I also don't think it mattered. Like, if you're playing basketball, you're going to be within six feet of everyone at some point. Yeah, Donovan Mitchell didn't get it because he was sharing a microphone. No chance. Yeah. yeah. The guy from the Pistons didn't get it because of a microphone. Right. And Christian Wood didn't get it from the microphone. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, I agree. I think that, like, right now, there's no enemy when you have a disease. Yeah. Like, a disease is actually very similar to, like, the Kobe thing and the crash where, like, there was no enemy. Nobody was responsible. No one, like, did it. Yeah. So we're, like, reaching out for anybody who could have been responsible. Yeah. There has to be some explanation. Yes. Oh, he's touching the microphone. Exa- uh, look how careless he was. Let's take all this anger that we have because yeah. the season is, you know, chopped. Up. Apparently there's like a riff in the locker room now. Like, are you fucking kidding Come me? On, like yeah. he wanted to get the coronavirus. Yes. Like, yeah, he was goofing around. Like we all goof around. Yeah. Like, remember you coughed in the beginning and then I'm saying you got yeah. the fucking virus. It's yes. just, we're just, bust, you know, busting balls. Um, it's an unfortunate thing and it just, it just sucks. But again, Lay off Rudy Gobert. I mean, there's way more reasons why you should hate Rudy Gobert besides this whole coronavirus. 100%. I mean, his game is awful. He looks stupid. He walks like <laughs> one of those um, uh, Star Wars camels that are <laughs> robots. <laughs> <laughs> what are they Do you called? know those things? I don't know what they're thinking, but they're like <laughs> slow plotting. But can you imagine if he got it like two weeks earlier during All-Star Weekend? Oh then it would have been a fucking problem. Yeah. He infected one All-Star. Big deal. Yeah. Fringe. Yeah, yeah. Donovan Mitchell, that was like a generous all-star. Yeah, he didn't even need to play in that game. Yeah. If he got LeBron, now it's a problem. Now, if Yo, if LeBron gets it. Now it's a problem. Yeah. Also, last thing, do they cancel the NBA season, you think? Because the, the most recent report is June. They're kind of mid-June. So how do you do that? If you cancel a season, I'm, if I'm LeBron, I'm not into that. Because this is, I don't have a lot of years left. I'm playing at a high level. You're not just canceling the season and making me, making me play a whole another season to get a ring. It is interesting. Uh, I think they'll do everything they can to actually play it. I think you play five to ten games to end the regular season just, just to get them back in the, and, then, yeah. and then go whatever the seeds are, the seeds are. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Just have it. There's just so much money to be made and people are going to be starved for competition. It's oh, not just... Yeah. Here's the thing. It's not just basketball. It's competition. We love competition. It's primal. We love it on a primal love level. love it. You know, it was interesting. I was watching the uh, UFC mm-hmm. fight without uh, fans. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed it. I thought that it would be like weird to watch without fans. Yeah. I don't know if the athletes themselves um, are as excited by it and maybe they won't take it as serious. Maybe they won't give the same effort because they're not the same stakes uh, at hand. Um, but I didn't enjoy it less. I actually... Did you watch it? No, but okay. I was going to say watching the... <laughs> I'll tell you how I feel, even I actually, though I didn't see it at all. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't see that at all. Um, my, not, my, feeling, my point was that can be a sport that actually thrives during quarantine because it's literally two guys and their coaches. I think basketball would have been fun to see. in front. It'd been like watching a pickup game at the highest level. Yeah, I just think that guys wouldn't compete as hard. That's possible. I think that these guys on some level, and listen, we're stand-up comics, so we know exactly what it is. I'm not going to do the same set in front of no people. It's just yeah. not, I'm not going to have the same energy. Granted, there's not a reaction that's necessary when you're a basketball player, but if you have an audience, you're going to operate differently. If you had the playoffs with no fans, that'd be one thing. Here's the problem. A basketball team is 30 fucking people. One of them gets it. That's the problem. A UFC team of trainers, five people tops. Yeah, that's interesting. What are they saying right now? Make sure you're in groups less than 10. Yeah. UFC fits in that. Dude, you know what else fits in that? Tennis. Tennis. You could actually play a couple sports. Yeah. Bro, you know what you could easily play? Golf. Yeah. So the reason they canceled the Masters, postponed it, is a bunch of European players were calling like, how do I get to the tournament? You don't get there, and you fucking deal with it. Yeah, but then I'm just saying you lose a lot of good golfers. You're the reason why we have fucking corona. We'll be totally fine. Nobody was ever watching for Joaquin 
you know, Perez or whatever <laughs> the fuck these guys are, right? We want Tiger. We want Mickelson. I think some of them are whatever. Who cares? It's golf. Who gives what? a fuck? Uh, there's, um, what's his name? Roy McElroy is really good. Nobody cares about him. I think he's good, though. Nobody cares. Okay. <laughs> Sergio, whatever the fuck, we don't care. Yeah, Sergio Garcia. Doesn't matter. Yeah. This is the Masters. Okay? Should be whites only. <laughs> <laughs> and Tiger. <laughs> and Tiger. <laughs> yeah. No, in all seriousness, I think that you could play golf, and if you have to not make it a, this type of tournament, just do it. We want to see some competition. And let's be honest, you want to compete. You don't want to sit in the fucking house all day. Oh, yeah. They're going to love it. UFC, okay. what I was going to say watching the Izzy fight. Yeah. And I've seen this with a few of the fights I've watched. There's not like a ton of action. The fans start booing. It almost like, for me, it's like, ah. Eh. Let them fight. Yeah, let it happen. I don't want them to get in their head, and that's what I was going to say. With no audience, if it's a high, if it was a high stakes fight, and you didn't have that, I might enjoy it more. I don't know, but like the booing to me, I'm always like that becomes as much of a show almost as the fight itself. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And UFC in general is the closest thing to a street fight, and I've never been watching a street fight like well, what is the audience? Thinking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So go for it. This yeah. World Star fight would be so much better <laughs> if, if there were, were more people <laughs> screaming World Star. <laughs> Where are the Irish fans and their <laughs> and their flags? That's what I really <laughs> watch the fight for. Yeah. No, I think you get. I think we can lean on certain sports. Yeah. Uh, golf, tennis. UFC boxing, take away the fans. I understand you're going to make less money, but you will gain so much viewership. I think you were kind of saying that yeah. earlier because people are going to be drawn to some sort of elite entertainment. At Anything this time. to distract us. Yes, and yes, the, yes, yeah, yes, if yes. it's if it's higher quality, for sure we're watching that. But like, yes. do you remember what it was like when you were a kid and you're trapped at home and you just yeah. watch TV? Well, you're yeah. in New York, so you might not have done it as much because yeah. you could walk around and just go and do, do shit. shit. Yeah. You're a suburb kid. Who grew you up in the, the 90s, TV. you need TV yeah, because there's nothing else to do. Honestly, if I'm one of these like AMC movie theaters, what I do is set up a website where people could opt in, purchase. And I understand people are going to steal and stream it. So what? You got to eat that. Eat that. It is what it is. It's the only way you make money. You're not going to make money for two months. You're just going to wait. Matter yeah. of fact, you're capturing people. You're going to get way better reviews for your movie. You're capturing people when they're at their most bored. Yes. What I always said about podcasts is why they're so effective is because we're here for you when you're at your most bored, right? You're in traffic right now. You're in traffic. You would literally rather be doing anything else. Boom. I think you go out there. I think if you're AMC, you start releasing movies at the exact same schedule time. Just have us watch it online. Everybody has a smart TV. Just go for it. You can actually re-release in the movie theaters when shit is better if you want, but people aren't going to go. Um... And I think you do the same thing with sports. You just have no fans, at least in the sports where we're able to do it. Yeah. Can't do it in football. Can't do it in any massive team sport. No. But you can UFC do it in, in the particular. individuals. Yeah. And UFC let, yeah. in particular. Golf, at least, like, all the golfers come for one tournament. That could be dangerous. Keep them separate. Ten, yeah. I think you could do that. Actually. You can I keep think them separate. Yeah. You don't even have to have them golfing together. You could literally stagger the whole thing one per course. You don't have to have two. And since so many won't be able to come because they're from other parts of the world, they don't want to travel. Yeah. Not course, sorry. One per hole. Yeah. Instead of doing two per hole, one per hole. Yeah. Perfect. Done. Wearing a mask. I love it. We just solved sports. Guys, we brought sports back. Um, thank you guys so much for listening. We'll be back, of course. We got the the Corona Chronicles uh, daily drop every single day. Uh, we also have a Patreon uh, coming Friday, so we'll be back to deliver some hot stuff for you. And uh, yeah, just keep it keep it tight, like you always do. I promise we'll make sure that you can endure this quarantine in the most productive and um, amazing way possible. Uh, thank you all for fucking with us. If you need some more distraction, come on over to Patreon. You know we're gonna come with another episode every single week. Uh, long live the flagrancy, the flagrancy. Long live, and we will see you soon. Peace.